Oh, well, come on, black folks. Y'all can do that. I said, happy to be alive, niggas. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now, listen, this is not my fault. I just wanted to come and say that real quick. All right? There's only one comedian here, and it's like five of the motherfuckers on the wall. All right? Yeah, you see that post? It's five. This the only nigga here. Y'all here, but the comedians ain't here, so if y'all want to boo motherfuckers, y'all can boo them, all right? Nah. But listen, we give a, I got a check specials for my people. They running a little late, so when they get here, we're going to have fun. All right? We got this shit called Pass the Mic. Somebody asked me, what's that? What's that? Pass the Mic is, if you keep looking at me all crazy shit, I'm gonna pass you the fucking mic. Oh, shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna look at I'm that. gonna see what you got. Anybody in here wanna do comedy? Ever thought about doing stand-up? Nobody? Yeah, I, I thought about you it. You thought about it? Yeah, I thought about it. Anybody else? Me? You? Yeah. Nah, I'm not passing you the mic, Martha. <laughs> so would you like to try, brother? Would you like to? Would, would I like to try? Yeah. Oh, it's been a long time. I ain't tell a joke since 1960. That's not what I asked you, brother. The question was, pay attention, motherfucker. Now, we going back to elementary school. All right. We in kindergarten. All right? Now, is anybody in here, y'all hear me, right? Yeah. Would like to do comedy or try it? That, that was the question. Oh, okay. All right. Would I like to do it? Nah, forget it. This motherfucker, this motherfucker's on a yellow bus. <laughs> when you see a nigga act fucked up, that's him. He was on that short bus. See, the, the tall, skinny bus, that was regular kids that just didn't have transportation. But that little short motherfucking bus, that was my man right there. But all this weed, all this weed is making me you know, contact. You ask people to smoke weed, it's good for you from Mother Earth. Yeah, it's good, but I don't Niggas smoke. Niggas say weed is from Mother so Earth. I'm feeling a certain way. You are? You high? Yeah, I'm full of I can tell you how because you keep talking, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got a contact out this what? bitch. Woo! The bro said, I'm high. Man. What's your name? My name is Mike. Yep, that's you. <laughs> Mike Epps. Ain't that high. Blow some more weed that nigga way. Blow some more weed his way. My name is Mike Epps. Mike Epps? Okay, Mike Epps. So, all right, so soon the comedians get here, y'all. I promise you we're going to have an awesome time tonight. We want to thank y'all for coming out in advance. To show love to the House of Scale Barbershop. What's going on, Hughes J? My man. So soon they get up in here, man, we're gonna start the show and um, just fucking laugh. <laughs> <laughs> See? This motherfucker retarded. <laughs> All right, go JoJo. Everything to sell anything. Use offer code. Hey, check it out. Here. All right, we about to get this shit started. What's up, baby? Y'all good? Yeah! Let me show that shit again. Y'all good? Yeah! All right, this is what, welcome to the House of Skills, man. We try to bring y'all the funniest motherfuckers we can find in New York, Jersey, Baltimore. We don't give a fuck. We just try to bring you some funny motherfuckers. But what we do here, I'm gonna say to y'all, what's up, everybody? How you doing tonight? How you doing? How you doing tonight? Y'all response gonna be, all right? All right? All right. We gonna try this shit one time. What's up, everybody? How you doing tonight? How you doing? How you doing tonight? All right. That wasn't everybody. That was me. Look, look, the homeboy trying to get, yo, she's a bartender, bro. So he's trying to get a number and shit. Yo, bartender. What, Jay, what's your name? What's your bartender? Bartender, bartender. What's your real nigga? She's not answering to bartender. Hey, bartender. Hey, is he buying a drink? Cause y'all talking too fucking long. If that nigga ain't buying a drink, fuck that. Sit your ass down. I'm right, gonna do that one more time. What's up, everybody? How you doing tonight? How you doing? How you doing tonight? Alright. Alright, y'all ready, y'all ready, man. Again, thank y'all for coming to the House of Skills, man. We appreciate you guys for coming out. You know, to support what we doing right here at the barber shop. Um there's a lot of shit going on in the world today. You know what I mean? A little nigga ran up with me today and shit, and um, he asked me two dumbass questions, right? But I gave him the benefit of the doubt, cause you know, he got a blog he doing, so he's like, yo, Ricky Marino, man, I wanna ask you two questions, and you know, you give me your best answer. I said, all right. The first question, he said, would you rather have slavery, right, or sell your soul to the devil? I said, you stupid motherfucker. What type of shit is that? This is why he don't have no followers. You know what I mean? He figured he see me, he can upgrade his shit. So, you know, I tried to help the little nigga out. And when he said that, I said, slavery me or sell my soul to the devil. 
I said, you stupid. Yeah, him and his mother's the only two followers he got. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's some dumb shit, right? Yeah. I got an arm with a young nigga. I don't play with these young people, bro. These niggas will shoot you. Yeah. I got an arm with I just start choking the motherfucker. I blanked out. I just. <laughs> they said, you're a killer, nigga. I said, fuck him. Fuck him. The nigga was like seven. <laughs> nah, you know what I mean? Because he, he, you know, he came, stepped up to me and shit. You know what I mean? I ain't trying no problem. You know, little kid. I don't give a fuck if he fold. You get in my face, nigga, I'm choking you. <laughs> Kill that little motherfucker. <laughs> we the uh, couples in here, any couples? Anybody in relationships? No, everybody just fucking around? No. <laughs> <laughs> nigga like, nah, we ain't together, but we fuck from time to time. <laughs> Nobody in relationships and shit? No, that's fucked up. Well, I was in one for a few years and then COVID hit and then I stinked this bitch for who she really was. You know, COVID, you got the chance to be around your girl a lot. This bitch started acting like me. She had all my drawers and shit. Started wearing my t-shirt and all that. Didn't get a head done. Bitches look different. <laughs> you know, don't get fooled. You been a bitch at the club. She look like she's the one. When she take them lashes and shit, I'll be like, damn, bitch. Somebody, you want a real nigga? Where the fuck is your eyelashes at? <laughs> in the bathroom, nigga. <laughs> Yo, she's been killing me that shit. So I decided, I said, I got a relationship I started about three weeks ago and shit. I got me a blow up doll now. Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck y'all. We don't argue or nothing. Bitch, don't talk back or nothing. Now I tell her what to do and she just do it. I had to tell her night I'm going out. She was like this. <laughs> That's how her mouth is. <laughs> Wanna give me some hair? <laughs> Alright, give me some hair. <laughs> and she black too. I got a black one too. She got some long hair and shit. She don't talk back or nothing. I be saying, I come in the house, start arguments and shit. Why the fuck you ain't do the dishes? She be like this. <laughs> Bitch, you always like she sharp. Yeah, so I'm in love with a blow up dog. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. I ain't gotta pay, buy her hair, I ain't gotta get her nails done or nothing. She don't argue with me or nothing. You ever had that one girl you just wanna choke the shit out of? Like, damn, I love this bitch, but she talk too fucking much. And you you know it's a toxic relationship. You know you were supposed to be in this shit, but you stick around anyway. You blame the shit on the kids, nah, cause we got kids together, son. You don't even fuck with your kids. <laughs> you only use a little motherfucker's tax return. Yo, let me get John John and let me get Shanique when shit. Let me get their social security. After that, you don't fuck with your kids after that. What's up, boo? How you doing? Beautiful. I might throw away that blow up dog. I see the love of my life. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all ready for some comedy? Yeah. I thought I was doing something. Apparently, y'all looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. My throat is killing me. What the fuck is y'all smoking? That's what I'm Damn. Got Reggie. Who got Reggie? That's the name of it, Reggie? I'm at the door. What you, what, what's that? What, what kind of weed you smoking, bro? That's gumbo? What you smoking? Grunch? Grunch? What you smoking, Jamie? Same shit? Oh. Uh, they don't all do the same shit. Just do a little different, get you a little higher. Is his shit better than your shit? Huh? So why are you smoking that? You ain't smoking that. Oh, that's more expensive. Oh. That take you a little higher, a little $20 more, get you a little higher. <laughs> nigga said, if you want to go to the moon, nigga, you want to fuck with this. If you want to be sad, you want to smoke with that. All right, yo, we'll get this shit started, man. We're going to call the first comedian up. If y'all ready, let me hear y'all say, bring it on, bring it on. 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 All right, come into the stage. Y'all start clapping right now. Start clapping right now. Come on, y'all start clapping right now. To my little brother, Prince. Look for the light. Yo, hot. You flashing lights at me? Sorry, sorry. All right, all right. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm Prince Eric. Prince Eric TV on Instagram if y'all want to. And I'm. Y'all look a little threatening, so I'm good. I'm having a rough week. I'm having a rough week. I'm growing up as an adult. Any adults in here? Where the old adults at? Now, we got African Americans and we got natives. 
I'm dating an African American when I should be dating a nigga. Not a nigga like a dude, because that's gay. Can't be doing shit like that. But like, you know what I mean? I need my girl to end sentences, fuck you talking about. You know what I mean? And like, you dead ass. Yeah, you dead ass left this corner of orange juice in here. You dead ass gonna come in here at 2.30 in the morning drunk. You dead ass gonna leave your shoes in the middle of the floor. Dead ass. Dead ass. <laughs> I need that. I didn't get that. I ain't gonna hold you. I like I like bare built women. I like me a little foop and thigh. I like that shit. I ain't start dating that. I got me a little pencil bitch. <laughs> What's that? You know how y'all be like skinny bitch need a sandwich? Y'all ain't lying. They cranky as shit. You need a sandwich and insure, nutrient, banana, chipotle. Pizza Hut, nigga, dead ass. <laughs> going through it. So I'm trying to decide where I am on my plate as a human, because I'm doing a lot of the wrong things. I'm going against the grain of what I naturally do. You can't do that. You gotta pay attention to that. Gotta go with what you like. Gotta go with what you know. I'm a hood nigga. I'm from the Ville. My gun jam, fix your gun. You don't cry about it. You don't tell nobody, because you can't tell nobody. You're like, yo, my city bro, I need an eye. Nobody can help you, you don't tell nobody. I know y'all can't relate to Brown's thing. There's one nigga, all right, all right, I'll, I'll move on. <laughs> but I'm getting wiser as a male, so I'm realizing like what I don't want and what I didn't like what I do want. I don't want badass kids. Like our parents were threatening, as you should be. The line was make me fuck you up. I wish you act up in here. I will fuck you up. Now it's your mother. Get your ass up off the ground. You're crying like a little bitch. I was coming from the female in your house. I need that. I don't want to raise no punk ass kids because these kids will stop two feet in the ground and talk shit to their parents. I will not stop two feet in the ground at this stage. I'm a grown ass man. My mom's five feet, a hundred pounds. I will not stop two feet in the ground and say nothing smart. She got a gun and a knife Damn. and a butterfly knife and a two shooter and a bat. My mom raised me with a lead pipe and a bat. That's all she needed. I knew I was. I knew what I wasn't doing. Watching some people you may date raise their kids and they not respecting it as a black man that came from the old school You want to sock the fuck out of somebody you angry a little bit because when your mom say I need this Nobody move as the nigga who's looking at this. I'm like nobody gonna move. Well punch a kid. Don't punch him Can't do it. Can't do it. So I'm frustrated. I'm knowing where I am and I know where I want to go I'm going back to being a nigga. I'm going back to drinking Hennessy in front of my building, chasing bitches up and down the block, going to work, paying my bills. <laughs> that good guy shit sucks. I know y'all was waiting for the punchline. I took long. I don't care. <laughs> I'm working on it. I ain't that nice yet. No, you, you look very threatening, sir. I'm not going to fuck with you because I I told you my gun broke, so. There be no shenanigans today, sir. With that ass, like, I, 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 I'm realizing, I'm realizing that Having your peace of mind is key. That, that. So you gotta be with the right partner. That's what like, the message I was trying to give right there. But besides that, I'm raising a 17 year old daughter. Like 17, like. Men, you can't show pictures to your homies of your 17 year old daughter. Like you got a daughter, let me see. No, nigga. No, I don't wanna see her. And like she's a woman, she's feminine, and she's a feminist. She brings that shit to the crib. I'm like, you don't like your ribs. She's like, why do I need to like my ribs? <laughs> get up, get up. Now I know she's thinking, hit your daughter. Yes, she has to know where that line is drawn. I am the authority. I'm Donald Trump. You Mexicans, take your ass across the border. If I build a wall. Even though they had a tunnel, so I don't know what the fuck he was building a wall for, because they got tunnels. That don't make sense. Why would you build a wall on a tunnel? Anyway, that's the last point. But I do respect her femininity. I do let her express herself sometimes verbally. So I'm walking on Pickin Avenue. I'm from the Ville. Everybody know me. I I E. What up, bro? I I Prince. Funny shit. Lady walks up to me. I love your lips. You so sexy. You know what I do with your lips? I rub my my daughter's face. Ill daddy. Daddy. She gonna rub her what on your face? So you just let girls just walk around rubbing their stuff on your face? Mm -hmm. I'm not eating after you and drinking after you and cereal bowls no more. You got your own bowl. Girls run up on you to shut your ass up. 
I love her. It's like my broke best friend. She ain't never got no money, but always got money. I gave her allowance in Venmo. First of all, what the fuck Venmo is? Daddy, you get Venmo. Ah, ah. I got a Venmo card in the app on my phone in a day. I don't know how that shit happened. Damn. That's how old I am. I just want to let y'all know that. I'm old. Old as fuck. But I like having her around because of these reasons. I know what not to do. I know what not to dance. And I know what not to wear. Obviously not these $50 90 These my walk around. She don't judge me. <laughs> But I'm learning a lot. I'm learning how to deal with women. I love my daughter to death, but I will punch her in the face. The next time I do a dance movie, she go, ill daddy. I don't give a fuck. Anybody got something to your teenager, you bust a dance movie and they go, ill. <laughs> your first instinct is to sock the fuck out of them. Because you gotta you gotta, gotta stabilize yourself. Gotta. First of all, that's what you got that you stabilize yourself. First of all, you don't know nothing about this. But you said you in your head is bitch, shut the fuck up. Get your fast ass in the room. <laughs> and I know they fast. <laughs> you ever come? I'm coming home from work. Tell you so. Come home from work. Before I open my door, here, don't stop. Pop that. <clears throat> work that shit. <clears throat> I'm looking up at the ceiling. I was like, these little motherfuckers better not be in here, motherfucking twerking and acting the fucking fool. Now you know how I say, look, young men don't know how to act. You bullshit. There are little girls ass up on my couch, twerking. I have to walk in the crib like this. Y'all better have your fucking clothes on. Man, I ain't no fucking thighs out in here. Titi, take your ass upstairs. When you have to yell in that threatening voice, you know how old you are. You ready not yet? Better put that down. I gotta correct you. I shouldn't have to correct as a male. I don't want to see teenage ass. It's weird. I want to see Fupa and cellulite thigh and overstretched white beater. Which mean when they do that shit, they put your white beater on. You know you ass can fit in that white beater. That's my favorite white beater. All the power league shit. Why y'all do that? That's some bullshit. Why? You ain't know, that. Why? You know what you did. It's not playing. Guys, remember the question? Why do y'all put shit in the fridge and ask us not to eat it? You know we smoke weed. How the fuck eats a half a Chipotle sandwich? You better not eat the rest of my sandwich. Soon as we hit that blunt, ESPN Sports Center go off. Bin and then, bin and then. We look at that you two eating that shit mad quiet. <laughs> Wake up in the morning. Stupid! You ate my shit? Is the rapper next to my bed on the floor next to my sneakers, man? <laughs> Why do y'all ask a stupid ass question like y'all know the answer to? You know her? Yeah, she hugged me. What the fuck? <laughs> you gonna wear that? Did I put these clothes on? That is that. That's a confidence knocker, ladies. Like, don't do that. You gonna wear that? That's like when y'all be like, how I look. Y'all do some bullshit like this. <laughs> you look retarded. Like you look but y'all, but you each other. You know what I mean? Be like that. I love y'all. I love us. I love black people. I love performing at home. Could you white light? No, no white light. No, no men in black. I'm gonna come get a free shade. Well, you see my shit? For real. I look like fresh off the boat. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> I said this shit in Manhattan and people got mad. So like Indian Americans, right? Indian Americans <laughs> fell for the oldest trick in the book, but it was the first time it happened, so you can see like well, how they fell for it. They fell for the what the fuck is that over there? <laughs> how the fuck? And you want us to feel sorry for you? Nigga hit you with the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> What's that over there? It took all your shit? That's not how that went. That we 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 we, we ate that shit to like twelfth grade. So a nigga hit you. First of all, I'd have been outside. Yo, yo, keep the bow and arrow on some with the funny hat and with the fuck of those pants. Why y'all rocking under your shoes? Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, thug. Bow and arrow the fuck out of this nigga, God. <laughs> Running mouth. That's my wife. That's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Run my mom's name is Old AF. She don't have a name, it's an acronym. But it's like, just in a nutshell, I'm an adult. I'm trying to learn. I want, but you ain't smile yet. Hold on, sir. Wait, tell me. You ain't smile yet. I saw you. You, Rosie Perez. I'm looking. You Spanish or black? How Spanish are you? Say I'm not Spanish. Oh, you nigga first. You like uh uh. You fist in hands. First of all, nigga. This eighth is a little light. You like you go back and change your eighth too. Look. Gotcha, man. I know I was gonna smile fast. You ever get a skippy eighth? You be bad and shit. $30? That's mad bag, boy. Nah, I send out that shit, boy. Uh. 
Y'all don't know the struggle we decided to get Reggie. That ass. You get a big ass bag of Reggie, you'd be lit with your Duchess. In your backwards and your Phillies. First of all, you smoking Phillies right now, walking in front of a train. I'm sorry. I don't mean Who got the patience for that shit? You gotta get a straight razor, you gotta lick it, you gotta rip the thing. I'm gonna get the Santo in this paper. We gonna call it a day. I'm like this bitch right in 42nd Street in front of the police. I love right now. Oh, I grew up in the top. You could not light your weed outside. You got to... over there with the weed in the water. They go to the police. You be smoking in the staircase, you hit the fucking door. That's not bro. You smoke. You see me. You see me. Anyway, that's what my weed smoke. I love you guys. <laughs> It's my time, though. I'm Prince Eric. I hope all of you have a good evening. Yeah. And good night. Uh, get up one more time for Prince, y'all. Get up one more time for Prince, Prince, Prince. Yeah, that's my little brother comedy. That's my little boy. That's my little brother right there. Funny motherfucker from the real. Never ran, never will. You know, when people say Brooklyn now, that shit don't even scare motherfuckers no more. You know this that shit? I was on the train and shit. I'm like, I'm on the A train. I'm like, damn, I'm seeing all these white folks. I'm like, where the fuck they getting off at? You know what I mean? We didn't pass no standing, and King standing. <laughs> the motherfuckers got a yeah. I said, oh God, we falling the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> niggas don't even stay, ain't even scared of Brooklyn now. Back in the day, you be like, yo, Brooklyn in the house. Niggas be like, yo, so I'm about to leave. Them niggas don't blood like that. Now niggas be like, man, fuck them niggas, bro. Them niggas ain't gonna do nothing. We was playing dice one day. Nigga jogged right through the circle. That nigga was like this. <laughs> they kicked the dice. It kept going. I said, oh, we falling the fuck off. They got bike lanes out this motherfucking now. We ride on the sidewalk, nigga. And we don't pay $5 for bikes, we just steal bikes. They, they got this shit fucked up. There's white people everywhere. But they ain't in Brownsville, though. <laughs> they ain't in the motherfucking process. <laughs> Them niggas all in the style, damn crying heights hard. I'm like, a nigga wanna rob me, nigga, rob him. What the fuck is you robbing me for? Give up the cell phone. One nigga rob, tried to rob me one day, he didn't even do it right. I wasn't even scared. This nigga had skinny jeans on and holes all in his fucking pants. I'm like, nigga, nah, you can't rob me, bro. Nah, get my change. You know I forgot. It's no I'm like, fuck the coat. Give me my five dollars. <laughs> you the bartender and all that bitch. I'm on a budget. <laughs> I get a check once a month. Fuck what you heard. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Sir. And she gave it back to me with a smile. I like you too. Now give me the drink. <laughs> Here you go, baby. The mic don't go but so far, so you gotta meet me halfway. Meet me in my bedroom. Oh, wow. Bedroom, oh, wow. bedroom. <laughs> please don't be late. <laughs> I fuck with all sides of women. You know, niggas be like, nah, I don't like skinny girls. I like skinny girls. I like thick girls too, and not because it's more pushing for the cushion and all that shit, because they more passion when they having sex. You know, skinny girls, you know, they just fuck and they fuck and they good fuckers though. <laughs> no, but big girls is a different type of fuck. You know what I mean? Hugh J is different. They, they, they just hold you. I'm like, damn, bitch, you making me feel. I'm like, this. Oh. <laughs> Girl, what the fuck? One day I told this bitch, stop doing that shit, bitch. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the aggressive motherfucker right now. That bitch had me feeling funny. But I kept going back. And no, she didn't know how to cook, so I wasn't going for the food, because the bitch couldn't cook. But that was all right. And I was in the shower, and I was just looking at her whole body. I wasn't even mad no more. You know, mom said, nah, she got layers. I was loving the fucking layers. <laughs> Licked the motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, baby, we taking a shower. We taking a shower. We taking a shower. Oh, I love my big girl. She left me, y'all. Yeah, that's fucked up. Like, how fuck big girl left you, Ricky? Bitch, and I was falling off. I start getting tired at times. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I figure because she big, I do two good rounds. It's over. She was like, nah, -uh, nigga. You got one more. That's one more. <laughs> 
I start making up stories and shit. My <laughs> that bitch was <laughs> she was too much. That's what for God. She was always in the mood. I couldn't take it no more, bro. So the moral of that story is, I'm taking a break from the big girls. <laughs> That's fucked up when the chick have you making lines up calling mommy and shit, right? Mom! You heard that? Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the, um, the list for the comedians. Y'all having a good time so far? Yeah! Y'all yeah. ain't fucking with me, right? Y'all supposed to respond, god damn. How many of y'all been in the comedy show before? First time? First time. First time? Or first time? So the rest of you motherfuckers know the rules in the comedy show, nigga. Shit ain't funny, still laugh, nigga. The fuck niggas be like, nigga, nah, so I'm gonna want, I need back $18, nigga. <laughs> nah, nigga, them niggas wasn't funny, now I need back $17.50. Who I see for my money, who could get you easy? All right, y'all ready for next comedian? Let me see y'all start clapping right now. Let me hear you start clapping right now. So y'all ready for me? I said, bring it on, bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on. Bring it on. Give it up for my man, MJB! Nah, y'all can do better than that. Keep clapping, 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 keep clapping. Yeah! Motherfucking niggas in here said I ain't clapping, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> we appreciate the ladies in here. What up, ladies? How y'all feeling? A lot of niggas in here. Somebody gave them a fly that it said it's gonna be mad bitches in here. The only time you get niggas to come out, you're gonna be mad bitches in here, son. <laughs> they came in, where the old bitches at, nigga? Like, give it up for uh, House of Skills Barbershop. Give it up for having this. Yeah. Man, y'all, y'all, this, this. I like this shit. Like, here's the, here's the thing, though, right? Like, I don't like fucking performing without a stage. Right? This shit real awkward for me. Cause y'all sitting down, I'm standing up, we looking out of eye, I don't like this shit. <laughs> shit, shit fucked up, I'm ready to get on the chair, ask this nigga to pump me up out this motherfucker. <laughs> I just started coming, getting my hair cut here too out this motherfucker, and I'm glad I got wheezy. <laughs> I don't like tall barbers, these motherfuckers like to disrespect me and shit. One nigga, I, I, I was going to another barbershop, one nigga, this nigga put the uh, cushion shit on the chair, about to sit on that, nigga. I'm not sitting on that, you better tire your leg out this motherfucker and keep bumping that shit. Fuck that. How we feeling? We feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. It, clap it up if you over 30 out this motherfucker. <laughs> clap it up if you still in your 20s. Yeah. These motherfuckers, they don't, they don't clap, they text. <laughs> Out. Nigga, I don't participate, nigga. If you, I'll DM you how old I am, nigga, but I'm not fucking. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I, I said clap. These niggas, yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh, man. He asked earlier, nobody in a relationship in here? No relationships? Kinda. Who said, who, hold on, first of all, who said kinda? Who? Yo, you said kinda. That's because she ain't here. <laughs> let, let her be here. This, this, y'all together? Oh, no, no, I just met her. You oh, you just met her? You just yeah. put your seat that much closer on her. Motherfucker <laughs> said, hey, make room for the next person. Ain't nobody there. <laughs> I get to know you out there. <laughs> hey, how you like the show so far? Motherfucker <laughs> bought a camera to record us and shit. <laughs> that shit, that recording shit, that shit done changed the game, right? Change the game out this motherfucker. Like, I don't like cell phone, social media, and shit, right? Like, I like back in the day when shit is real. I'm 39. You know what I'm saying? So, I like back in the day when shit is real. When you enjoyed some shit right there, the best thing you had was either you was there or you wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Now you got fucking social media, everything get captured. You don't need everything fucking captured. Think about that shit, right? Like, it's like, you get fucked up, right? Back in the day, you got fucked up. The only people who know <laughs> was who you and whoever fucked you up. That was, that was it. <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about what we talking about there. Yo, I heard you got fucked up. Yeah, nigga. Now your shit go viral. That shit fucked up out this motherfucker. <laughs> you think about that shit, that shit go viral, right? Like, fuck, you get fucked up in this barbershop right now. You like, fuck that. That shit, I'm embarrassed, right? I'm fucking move to Atlanta, start a whole new life, right? You, you go to Atlanta, you meet a shorty, right? And she be looking at you, you look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> you look real 
real familiar now. I've never been out here before. Mind you, just decided to start over. <laughs> you take her on a date. Let the motherfucking waitress drop the tray out this motherfucker. You look back in slow motion. She picks you when you got punched in the face. Oh, nigga, that's where I know you from. Can't even move nowhere. Shit follow you. You just get fucked up. You gotta deal with that shit. I get fucked up. I'm posting that shit myself. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck waiting for another motherfucker to post. I post my shit myself. Fuck that. You know what? <laughs> oh man. Any parents in the house? Parents clap it up, parents. Whoever whistled for being a parent. <laughs> they must got an infant child at home. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep all day. <laughs> I've asked you that question in a year or so. Yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah. <laughs> I got four kids. Four, yeah, wow. Here's the worst part. Four daughters. And I'm really this size. This is some fucked up shit. <laughs> like, this nigga put his finger up. <laughs> Excuse me, that's how we open. Four daughters, oh my god, like, like that's real shit. I'm the hashtag girl dad. I can't fucking shake that shit. Right? I was in a fucking relationship 18 years. True story. 18 years with my baby mom. Toxic as shit. Right? I had to get out that shit. Here's how you know you in a toxic. First of all, if you in a toxic relationship, get out. If you know somebody in a toxic relationship, get them out that shit. Stop encouraging that shit, right? And we all get caught in toxic relationships for different reasons, right? Some people, they fucking kids. Uh, some, some women, y'all get caught in toxic relationships because y'all dickmatized and shit, right? The, the nigga said, yeah. You know when the nigga say it, he like, yeah, she at home right now, nigga. Like, got that bitch dickmatized out of motherfucker. Me, I tried to make it work for my kids. I tried to make it work for my kids. I didn't have that growing up. My parents split up. I said, I'm trying to make it work, right? And I knew I was in a toxic relationship because, like, the more we was in the relationship, she started changing me, or she wanted to change me, right? Like, when I met her, I smoked weed. That was my shit, smoked weed. This ain't new, I ain't need to be legal. Been smoking weed, right? And then one day, she gonna tell me, like, after like 10 years in the relationship, she gonna tell me, you smoke after every emotion. In my face. And I was like, well, I'll be back. <laughs> she was like, where you going? I was like, bitch, you made me sad. I'm emotional right now. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I don't know, ladies, ladies, I don't know what y'all do when y'all in a toxic relationship, but men do, we just do shit. And I'm not talking about like old men who in a toxic relationship, they cheating. I'm talking about when you're in a toxic relationship, you're just not happy. We do shit like not go home one time. That's what the fuck we do. <laughs> yup, that's why, why you, I didn't even know there was a comedy show here, nigga. <laughs> I'm not trying to get home to what's there. <laughs> I heard a microphone when I walked by. I said, Ooh, what's going on? <laughs> Motherfucker gave his last 20 just to not go home. <laughs> How much it cost? $20. This nigga's counting singles out this motherfucker. We do shit to not go home, right? Like, I work retail. So every time, every now and then, we got to go help out different stores, right? And I live in Brooklyn, work in Brooklyn. I had to go help out a store in Queens. And I got out at 4 o'clock that day. My, my lady at the time worked overnight. I said, fuck, if I go straight home, I'm gonna get there about 5, 5.30. That's too much time with her. <laughs> Fucking want that. <laughs> so I thought of the best option to take long to get home. I fucking walked from Queens to Brooklyn. <laughs> but here's the problem. I got low legs. I move quick, right? So like, I realized I was still gonna get home at 5.30. So I was like, fuck, I gotta do something. And I ain't walk past no comedy show in the barbershop. So I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do something to kill time. And I saw a fucking lady fixing her flat tire, and I knew God set me down that block <laughs> to help her fix that flat tire. <laughs> Here's the shit about this, though. Never drove, never owned the car, never changed the t flat tire. But guess what? Today was the day for me to learn. <laughs> and I walked over to her. I was like, look, uh, miss, you look like you need some help. She was like, no, yes, um, I appreciate you helping me. She was like, you know what you was doing? I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> she pissed me off. She pulled out a phone. YouTube. How to. I smacked that shit right out of here. <laughs> so you're not doing this. We're going to figure this out together. <laughs> now, let me tell y'all something. When I got home the next day, I avoided the toxic relationship that night, okay? You got to do what the fuck you got to do. Y'all missed that punchline. It's cool. 
girl dad, that's a real shit though, I'm a girl dad. And, and same thing like homeboy, I got a, uh, he got 17 year old, I got an 18 year old. Right, just turned 18 March, I'm like, damn, life is different. Right, cause like, when me and baby mom broke up, she took the three younger kids, I kept the older kids, right, and at the time she was 14, right, and we got into our first fucking argument when she was 14. And ladies, I'm gonna tell y'all something straight up, y'all could be foul as fuck. Y'all don't give a fuck who it is, to your dad, sister, cousin, don't fucking matter. Fellas, if you don't have a daughter, listen to me when I tell you, if you ever do, never read they fucking journal. Do not fucking do it. I read my daughter's journal, worst shit ever, all right? We got into an argument over my Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> Bluetooth speaker, that was the argument, right? I wanted to listen to music, couldn't find my shit. Yo, with my speaker, dad, I ain't touching speaker. Find my shit, I know. That was the argument, simple shit, right? Two days later, I see her journal on the floor. Now I'm a proactive dad. My shit is, I'm gonna see what's going on with her, come through with timely dad advice, great relationship. No lie, open up the journal, it's a whole fucking paragraph. I couldn't get past the first sentence. <laughs> <laughs> this was the first sentence said word for word, y'all. This bum nigga. <laughs> me, I didn't really look for the speaker. Once I saw speaker, I realized I was the bum nigga. <laughs> I'm a cancer, I'm emotional, a teardrop fell between bum and nigga right there. <laughs> right, but I'm dead and I'm a bum nigga, so now I gotta, you know what I'm saying, I gotta, I gotta approach you like a nigga, right? That's what niggas do, I gotta approach you. And I caught her ass while she was vulnerable, I made her wash the dishes. She had her back turned in the kitchen. I walked in the kitchen, I put bass in my voice. And I walked in, I was like, yo! What the fuck you gonna call a bum nigga? <laughs> she gonna look back and smile at me as if that was confirmation, like, oh, dad, now I know you know I'm a bum nigga type shit. Like, <laughs> shit pissed me off. She was like, no, dad, I ain't mean it like that. I was upset. Uh-uh, fuck that. You gonna understand in fucking human resources, uh, that's paper trail right there and you would've lost your fucking job. <laughs> As a dad, I'ma teach you a lesson right now. You don't fucking do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got you. I said, like, you ain't gonna, you don't fucking do that. So I asked, I said, you got some shit to say, you pissed off, tell me straight up. If I'm a bum nigga, then what does that make you? <laughs> she stayed 14. <laughs> She was like, I don't know, Dad. And I was like, nah, fuck that. Act like you, I'm, I'm one of your homegirls in the park. Y'all talking shit. If I'm a bum nigga, then what does that make you? That moment she turned 18 for a quick second. She's like, well, guess that makes me a bum bitch. <laughs> I ain't expect her to say it, but I wasn't going back down either. I was like, you goddamn right you a bum bitch. <laughs> If I'm a bum nigga and I buy everything, you's a bum bitch, your sister's a bum bitch, and your mom's is a bum bitch, this is a bum bitch family, I'm just not fucking. Listen, I appreciate the laugh, my name's FJB. Yeah. Give that one more time, man. Give it one more time for my boy, man. Yeah, that was some funny shit. That, that was funny. That was funny. Hey. Yo, why you playing music, Joe? What the fuck is wrong with you? Ain't nobody, ain't no fucking intermission. Give Joe a fucking drink. <laughs> you alright? You, you gonna fight tonight, huh? Everybody trying to fuck. <laughs> and nigga over here like this, yo, mom. <laughs> What's your name again? Bartender. Who my MTA riders in here at? Who ride the trains in this motherfucker? Yeah. I'm the only one ride the train, huh? Okay. The rest of you motherfuckers got cars with them PPP loans, huh? Yeah. All right, that's cool, that's cool. Well, listen, for those who don't ride the train, who used to ride the train? My whole family in here, we about to go to bed. So I looked at the motherfucker, he had the kids and everything laid the fuck out. I said, my bag, bro, I'm my bag, bro. I went to the next car, motherfucker told me, yo, bro, you, I said, man, fuck that, I'm getting on the train. So I said, hey, hey, man, me. I said, my name is Ricky Marino, I'm a recovering addict, nigga. I said, the fuck? <laughs> 
to this whole month, and then they come through the car and see what they do. They make you feel bad. You know, they come through, they start singing, do bop, do, do, do. I'm like, I ain't giving that motherfucker nothing, man. Fuck this motherfucker. He should get a goddamn job. And then he get to the door and he turn around and say, God bless you. Can't get the fucking dollar, you son of a bitch. Because it make you feel bad. See, God know you got the dollar. So I don't want to feel bad. I fucked around and, and spent 12 hours on the fucking train. One behind another, niggas coming through singing and shit. Them homeless mothers got gigs, boy. One nigga, I'm about to give a dollar. He told me, what the fuck is that? I said, niggas, a dollar. He said, nah, man, we in a recession, bro. We don't take five. Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> homeless people, niggas want to fight me and all that, bro. And it's kind of fucked up to get in an altercation with a homeless person, right? Because I don't want him grabbing me. You know, they be smelling bad. I don't want to be fighting no motherfucking homeless person. That ain't gonna look good, because we both gonna look like bones. Who's the real motherfucker in this fight? Anybody ever been cheated on in here? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the only one? <laughs> that shit hurt though, right? When you get cheated on and shit? Yeah. Niggas be hurt. How many times you guys cheated on being that you want to get out, out versus this shit? Yeah. That nigga, he, his heart get broken in every relationship. Be like, nigga, what happened, man? She hurt me again, nigga? Yeah. My homeboy ain't speaking to me right now and this shit, because he said, yo, Rick, I want to talk to you. I said, bro, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? He said, yo, man, you know, my girl was giving me all sex, man. She didn't even know what the fuck she was doing. So I showed her. So I was like, nigga, who the fuck taught you? <laughs> like, what the fuck you mean you showed her? Like, nigga, he was like, no, man, I ain't with that homo shit. I said, nigga, listen, don't tell nobody else this story. I'm going to keep this shit between me and you. I just told y'all, all right? <laughs> so my, he showed her what the fuck to do. Nigga, that's my man in there. Hey, um, my Chinese sister, Ching Mom, come here for a minute. Come here. I want to I wanna, I wanna show everybody. I didn't know, I knew my father was a player. But I didn't know he was a player player. This is my sister from China. Y'all clap it up for her. I'm from China. I'm Where you from? Philippines. Philippines. What y'all looking like? What? what the fuck is the difference? What? It's the chicken eyes? Yeah. I smoke weed every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm high right now. Yes. What do you do, you think? Anybody ain't had Chinese pussy before? <laughs> you ain't had Chinese food. <laughs> I don't know, I want to fuck a Chinese girl. No, I really do. I want to see what it's like and shit. It's slanted. It's slanted? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you tonight, bro? Oh, that's the reefer? Yeah. That's the weed? Alright, so we're going <laughs> to keep this thing going, man. So if y'all ready for the next comedian, let me hear y'all say, bring it on, bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on. Bring it on, Y'all start clapping right now. Start clapping right now for Almighty So... Say, say your name, I don't want to fuck it up. What's the last part? Start clapping right now for Almighty Sco! That nigga got that Hitler mustache on his face. Boy, your shit sharp, nigga. See why you always throwing a fucking comedy show in the fucking barber shop. Nigga, live here, nigga. That nigga get hit cuz cuz he bored, nigga. See that nigga on Instagram one day, that nigga had five greens on in his suit, nigga. Say, what the fuck wrong with this nigga? This nigga's a pimp from Augusta. That nigga like a generic prince, nigga. You name a black nigga with an uh, Italian mafia name like that, Ricky Barino. <laughs> that nigga belong in Goodfellas, nigga. You <laughs> would have been Samuel Jackson if Samuel Jackson did good. <laughs> hey, African Ben Bubani, you gotta take that camera on my damn face, nigga. I ain't got no fucking vacation on that. I ain't got a GoPro in a barber shop, nigga. Blood Wallet. <laughs> See this much niggas in their fucking one room since I joined the Bloods, nigga. Man, I'm about to get my ass whooped. I see all the homies in here in the blue, they ain't like that. They're like, yeah, cuz tripping. Cuz on some shit. <laughs> oh, they ain't. I tell you, one of the Crips done cut off my microphone. 
Hey, black ball in the blood, nigga. Nah, that's all I love, though. Word. I used to be a knucklehead, though. But I gave my life to God and shit. Word. Yeah. But look, I was bullshitting on the giving my life to God part, though. That nigga still trying to find me, nigga. That nigga better hurry up before I can go to the Illuminati. That nigga's giving up that bag for one of them fake friends, nigga. Word. So, any MTA workers in here? Yes, sir. Where? You, man, you's a goddamn liar, nigga. That nigga collecting unemployment still, nigga. You can look at that nigga. That nigga behind you, though. That nigga look like a remaking juice. Come up here, my boy. Oh, man, son, now. I'm not like, look, 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 he start shaking his head. Yo, homie, just get the strap. That nigga ain't like that at all, nigga. That nigga about to pull 187 on my head, though. <laughs> Ricky, what's up with you? You know, you even if you bend down, you still taller than God, nigga. You, I don't know why you bothered with that one. Word, son. But what's good, though, y'all? Yeah. Everybody good? Yeah. Look like I'm in a 5 percenter spot tonight. A 5 percenter convention. My father used to be 5 percenter. For like a week, though. They caught that nigga eating a ham hock sandwich, nigga. They kicked that nigga out, nigga. They took away that nigga freedom name and all that, nigga. My last name went back to James Quick. That nigga name was Mustafa Allah, nigga. <laughs> My name went right back to Christopher James, nigga, right after that. They took all of our disowners quick, nigga. So I joined the Bloods and shit. Huh? <laughs> Fuck it, right? <laughs> Dumbest move of my fucking life, nigga. <laughs> Cost me my Thanksgiving dinner one year, nigga. Mom's kicked me out one day, so you wanna be a gangbanger? So go eat with the Bloods. <laughs> Ate with the Bloods? Them niggas was eating hot dogs and buns that second, nigga. Said, oh no, this ain't it, nigga. I went right back to church, nigga. That's a fact. It's Ramadan and shit, word. Big up to all the Muslims in the building. The real Muslims though. A lot of niggas talk about they ain't Muslim till it's three o'clock in the afternoon. You catch them niggas eating a sandwich, nigga, early, nigga. <laughs> talk about you a crew for ass nigga. They took my brother, my brother. All I understand, no, he don't, nigga. Talk to them niggas in jail about that. <laughs> them singers and alumni is not having that tonight. Sugar for you ain't smile all night. What's up with you? Talk to me. Your baby father cheating on you got problems? You just been still all night. You thinking in a snicker. You thinking in a buttermilk biscuit tonight, bro. <laughs> you ain't gonna rap to you. I'm gonna rap to you tonight, baby girl. Uh-uh. <laughs> you heard that nigga laugh? <laughs> you heard that nigga laugh? Mm-mm. <laughs> the fuck was that, nigga? Thought my TV was broken back in the 90s, bro. He said, mm -mm. <laughs> I look down, that nigga got the fucking hell out of a predator, scrap. Need to, need to go sit in one of these chairs, play, go get you a haircut, cut that shit the fuck off, man. That shit ain't right, but nah, though, no, son. I'm having fun out here tonight. I'm drunk in a fucking scut, drunk in Jesus at the Last Supper, nigga. Damn. Yeah, damn is right, nigga. You know how drunk you gotta be when you gotta know you about to die? <laughs> I'm getting torn up, I'm fucking everything, nigga. No condom, nigga. Yeah. My name got to live on tonight, nigga. <laughs> Baby girl, oh my God. You digging at a snicker back there, love. I hope your man not here tonight. <laughs> she can sit on my face, nigga. I'm ready to die, nigga. Tonight, though, we in Brooklyn tonight. We having fun. 1300 in the building. Yeah. You say I better laugh. <laughs> you know I mean? That's majority of the crowd. You know somebody packing at the door. Y'all niggas don't laugh tonight. Y'all in trouble. But word though, I have fun tonight though. I'm about to get up out of here. So y'all niggas have a good night. And remember, stay blessed, you heard? Yeah. 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 Clap for that nigga, y'all. For the thug down little motherfucker, you see him? 1,300 in the building, y'all. Yeah. Nigga better clap tonight, nigga. You gonna get shot. You ain't got no gun in this motherfucker unless you had it in your ass. 
Cause we search motherfuckers up in here. We know what type of niggas come through this motherfucker. Huh? We in, we in the barbershop, we in the hood, but we know you motherfuckers from 1300. I said, yeah, how many told you? I said, yeah, I got my man Hugh Shane and this little nigga. You know they from the projects. We got to be extra. Make sure the cameras is on. Make sure it's clear. Cause if they get away, we can show them the motherfucking tape. You niggas ain't beating up nobody, no my watch, no. Yo, yeah, yo, where the fuck all these niggas come from? Y'all making me, I'm happy you're here, though. Shit. Come back again, shit. Yeah, you, if you ain't from 1300, stop talking. If you ain't from 1300, nigga. You, 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 man, listen, bro. Where you from? You from the building next door? You know, niggas got beef with the nigga next to the building. You, you from where, 1350? You know, like, shut the fuck up, nigga. You ain't from 1300. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? 1300 is the shit. 1350 is pussies. <laughs> Miss Johnson come out with hi, Miss Johnson. <laughs> but it's a grass on this pussy. <laughs> 1300. Yo, we gonna be friends. I like y'all. All right. 1300. You having a good time? Yeah. If you having a good time, y'all say hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, we're gonna keep this thing going, keep this thing going. So if y'all ready for the next community meeting, y'all say bring it on, bring it on. 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 Yo, y'all start clapping right now. Please start clapping right now for my man Dave the Doorman. Y'all niggas confused right now, right? You're confused. I always wanted to do that. I have my security shirt and smoke weed with y'all niggas because whenever y'all high, there's no fight. I never understood why you couldn't smoke in the club. <sighs> For those that don't know, I go by Dave the Doorman, Mr. Security, the bearded bouncer, and my personal favorite. Fuck you, I didn't want to go to your whack ass club anyway, fake ass email doka. <laughs> it's fucked up, right? Yo, my nigga, I know I don't look it, I know I don't sound it, but I'm getting one hood as fuck. My girl is ghetto and hood as fuck. And you know who we can't stand when we go out? Ghetto and hood people, yuck. Them niggas is savages. <laughs> yo, this is a good crowd, yo. This is a good crowd. Where my New Yorkers at? I got a test to see if you motherfuckers is New Yorkers, New Yorkers. If you walking in the street and you get pissed off because a motherfucker's walking in the street, you might be a New Yorker. If you're walking in, you're like, yo, is this nigga taking a casual stroll? Take that shit to Central Park. You got joggers in Central Park? Like, who the fuck walks in the park? Do you look for parking? Yo, hip hop turned 50. Nah, there's no hip hop fans in here at all. Hip hop turned 50, that shit is different now. We used to go from the bam to the bam to the boogie to beat, and now it's like pissing in my pants, pissing in my pants. Can I, you know what I mean? Shit is wild. When you work the front door of New York's most racist clubs, you get all the world's racism. I've been called everything under the sun, from sand nigga to regular nigga to wannabe wigger and gay ass nigga. And don't forget, you a spick too, nigga. But sometimes, my nigga, the racism pay off for a nigga. Middle Eastern gentleman comes into the club. Now, anybody that thinks that anybody tries to jab up the doorman, he comes in, brother. Brother, where's your family from? Hmm? India? Hmm? Pakistan? I'm like, Bushwick, homie. He goes, brother, brother, you gives me a high five, goes in, you kill me. I don't think nothing of it. He comes out two o'clock, stunting with some supermodel smoking a stove. That's my brother over there. No, 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 that's my brother, I swear. No, 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 watch, watch, watch. <laughs> brother. Brother, what are you, hmm? You Punjab, hmm? Arab? Oh, Puerto Rican. He goes, brother, brother, you killed me. Goes to give me a high five, moves out of the way, taps me on the stomach, and goes cheating during Ramadan. <laughs> So now I'm gonna give that nigga a piece of my mind 
and the night coming, I'm steaming. I had just started my fucking diet that day. I'm in my bag. He comes out. We catch eyes. It's go time. He goes, brother, brother. This time, he got $200 tucked inside of his hand. To which I replied, assalamu alaikum, salam, assalamu alaikum. Get home safe, get home safe. Hala? Yo, I come from a long line of doormen. My father was a doorman. My older brother was a doorman. My grandmother had a house with doors in them. My pedigree is crazy. <laughs> Me and my brother don't really fuck with each other. His name's Oscar, parents named him perfect because he's a grouch, you know, he gives a fuck about his money. You know what I mean? One random day I walk into a bar, some nigga stats with a baseball bat. I look, it's my brother Oscar, oh shit. Out of nowhere, some nigga looking like Grandmaster Flash with two guns and both hostess comes to the bar and goes, Mr. Mountain, to get me your drink. Shot at Jango with some chicken wings. What the fuck? <laughs> this is how my brother answers. What's good with you, Mr. Funny Man? I go, you know, we're not ignoring that. He goes, yo, that's some OG comes in here, gets drunk, starts rapping like it's 1985. Plus, that nigga knows better. Grandmaster Flash heard that shit. Came up to the bar, goes, Mr. Bartender, Mr. Bartender, get me your drink. <laughs> Them niggas catch eyes with each other. Shit gets awkward. I come to my brother, I'm like, yo, 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 yo. Let's go to the bar, what you want? He goes, a shot of Jango. I go, that's crazy, because I'm starving. I could go for some chicken wings. We go to the bar, one shot becomes two shots. We drink half a bottle. We're eating chicken wings. Before you know it, I'm lit. I'm rapping like Grandmaster Flash. <laughs> I'm like, next time, say please when you dipping my blue cheese. That nigga comes. He goes, yo, 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 pulls out his gun. He goes, hey, yo, my man, what's so funny? Yo, I start dying laughing. He goes, give me all your cash because you got no honeys. My brother didn't like that shit at all. He just very calmly passed me the baseball bat. And he said, yo, when I give you the sign, my nigga, you jump in. I said, all right. He took his glass, he threw it, he said, broken glass everywhere. You pissing me off, man, I just don't care. I can't take your voice, can't take your noise. Better bounce from this place, homeboy, no choice. Know that you're a gangster, know about the gap. Dave, you in the alley with the baseball bat. Dave in the alley with the baseball bat. I don't even like this nigga. <laughs> so he gives me the sign and yo, I'm confused. I don't know if I'm supposed to rap or hit him with the baseball bat. So he gives me the signal when I'm like, don't push me, cause I'm hit him with the bat. I was like, oh shit, oh shit. I appreciate you. Very serious man on here. I felt weird walking in because my shit was sharp. I'm like, damn, am I starting beef? Was I supposed to come like rugged and be like, oh, could you hook me up? Like, I apologize. But you know this shit is fresh. Um, I recently, I love hanging out with lesbians. It's the only time I get to be a guy. Yeah. yeah. I recently came out the closet to my mother. She said, you're stupid and you don't get it. I go, ma, I'm a full blown lesbian. I love women. She goes, you're stupid. You're straight. I go, no, that's gay. <laughs> she don't get it. <laughs> she don't get it. It's cool, it's around. It's okay. <laughs> you were buffering, the, the Wi-Fi is crazy in here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all right. Yo. Growing up, I was petrified of two motherfuckers. We were talking about ass whoopers all night, right? Petrified of my father. And the other OG I was scared of, was my grandmother. She didn't know a lick of English. She knew four words of English. Ran a whole fucking country with those four words. Jew father is coming. <laughs> my nigga, she got out of everything. We were going to Little League, cop pulled us over. She goes, excuse me, miss, you know why I pulled you over? She said, hey, Jew father is coming. Kind of looked around. <laughs> said, excuse me, Jew father is coming. Cops started crying. <laughs> I almost gave up hope. You can go, lady. You can go. The fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So I tried that shit. 
I said to father, he's coming. He said, sir, get the fuck out the car. He said, possible DUI. I'm gonna need backup. Fucked up, right? So my career is in an awkward place right now. It doesn't exist. Um, but I feel like a really good intern that my job knows like, yo, this nigga's really good, but we're never gonna hire him. But please don't forget us when you go somewhere. And use us as a resume. Thank you, thank you. I gotta make that joke a little bit more urban, but thank you. Yo, this is a great crowd in here, man. Thank you. The one guy that's having fun. I gotta catch you niggas before you get high, cause y'all niggas is like, <laughs> They're like, that nigga's funny. It's funny. Nah, y'all are fucking dope, man. Who's uh who's in a relationship in here? Yeah. But I I didn't want to state the obvious. <laughs> Yo, I don't wanna pick on you, but I have to. I have to. Cause you look like, are you hiding from someone? <laughs> Do you know someone in here? Yeah. Now, are you sure? Yeah. Like, both of you keep looking at each other like, yo, there's mad cameras in here. There's mad cameras in here. Your story straight? Your story, cause I'm sleeping over. So what you say? Yo, I love this crowd. I love y'all. I'ma shut the fuck up. You guys been awesome, man. I'm getting the door, man. Have a great night. Yeah, give it up, give it up for Dave the door, man, y'all. That's what I want to I want to tell jokes when niggas is high. You know what I mean? <laughs> when niggas ain't high, they got a lot of problems. You know what I mean? He be like, I'm gonna kill that nigga, son. Hold the blunt. <laughs> nigga don't even want to kill that nigga no more, man. Before that, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. Throw him down the flight of stairs. And you got that coach? <laughs> you got that loud? Niggas don't even smoke loud no more. Loud is trash now, right? It is garbage, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get some weed. I'm gonna start selling some weed and shit. I'm gonna get a good name like Da. <laughs> Yo, son, how much that shit cost, man? <laughs> Niggas gonna smoke that shit too. Murder was the case at the gate. Let me get a bag of that, bro. You saw Rick? I want a bag of murder with the case. The fuck you smiling for, nigga? I ain't say shit. You smiling because you got all your teeth, nigga? Wait till you get 45, motherfucker. <laughs> Shit gonna start dropping. <laughs> Look, I see you. Look. Okay. Y'all enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. Y'all having a good time? Yeah. I'm trying to see who I'm gonna call next. 1300 in the motherfucking building. 13. Yeah, J Bug out every motherfucking body. Nigga, you coming in, you on all my shows, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Every show, Big J, Huge J is on the show. <laughs> if, it ain't, if it ain't you, Huge J is Omadi. Long you bring 1300 with you. Make up with 1350, bring them too. <laughs> Just for that night, you heard? Peaceful, peaceful, peaceful. Anybody up in the LA? Anybody been to LA? Been to LA? You know, that's the Crippin' Bloods city and shit. I went out there, I didn't know what the fuck to wear. No, no, see, that's 1300, go ahead. I ain't, gonna, I ain't stopping y'all, go ahead. I want y'all to be my friends. Yeah, the bathroom's over there. That's all right, you ain't trying to talk, but you talking, but it's okay. You want to go in there? All right, get up the stage, motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, I didn't call you, what the fuck is you going? <laughs> nigga, just all on the stage, nigga, where's the bathroom? Nigga, go outside and piss. But listen to this, y'all. You know, I went to L.A. 1300, Almighty. You performed it, baby. I know, So you can leave, motherfucker. <laughs> 1300, y'all say. <laughs> y'all be, y'all be 1299. Go on the fuck when you go, nigga. <laughs> we got 1299 in here, cause Almighty left. <laughs> but now nah, I was in L.A. and shit, and it was, it was crazy because, you know, the guy, this nigga still talking. Yo, 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 my man, my man. You, this your first time to a comedy show, bro? I fucks with you. Me and you just was out there reminiscing and shit. We good, we good. So why the fuck did you keep talking? Man, fuck his 
flowers. <laughs> nigga, you here, he seen you, nigga. We was out there bonding like brother to brother, you know, old head to young nigga. And he come in here and having a whole fucking conversation he can have outside. He ain't say shit with nigga, you was funny. We all know the nigga funny. <laughs> now you gonna listen to the joke, you fucking up the joke. I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, next time you say something, it's gonna be me and fucking you. I got you, $12.99, mind y'all fucking business. <laughs> I know it's 1300 you motherfuckers. Nah, but I was in LA and shit and it fucked me up because you don't know what the fuck to wear in LA. Look, now this man gonna talk. This shit is crazy. <laughs> Jay, Jay, big Jay, huge Jay, my bad. Huge Jay. Now, I know you the big homie, right? And y'all all from 1300. We gonna start deducting motherfuckers in a minute. We gonna fuck around and be down to 100, these niggas keep talking. <laughs> One mother stopped talking to this man. He, he just went to the other nigga, yo, brother, like I was saying. <laughs> like, fuck that old head nigga. What he gonna do? <laughs> we only got one security guard. Y'all see what the fuck we working with. So don't try to wrestle on us, motherfuckers. Shit, we were clipping, clipping your ass to death. Give me this shit, man. Right? Say another motherfucking word. I'm gonna give you a ball to the night, nigga. <laughs> Explain that shit when you get back to 1300. <laughs> but now nah, I was in LA and it fucked me up because you know the Bloods and Crips, that's their city and shit. And gas is so motherfucking hot, them niggas was riding in the car with each other. That shit is deep, right? They wasn't even talking. <laughs> and I was the Uber driver. I said, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I said, nigga, this is not a lift, this is Uber. Nigga just got it. I said, where you going? You got that nigga right where you was going. Yo, I'm high as a motherfucker. God damn! Yeah. Y'all alright? Yeah. yeah. Nobody ever wanna say that. Matter of fact, yo, brother, you got something you wanna share? Yo, you, you wanna come up here? Yeah, I'm I'm you sure? Uh, what about you? You know what I wanna say? I probably could fuck you up. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of these motherfuckers. They like they done been upstate and shit. You know, I think I could take you. Yeah, I'm old school and all that. So I hit hard. You ever met that old uncle that used to grab you with no one on? And you be trying to get away? I'm him, motherfucker. <laughs> I work out five days a week, nigga. <laughs> nigga called me an old young nigga one day, right? He said, yo, man, why you kind of dress like you young? I said, motherfucker, I'm staying with the time. Think about it now. If I dress my age, I'll be in here looking fucked up. Y'all be like, what the fuck is this old nigga? Don't he supposed to be in the old folks home right now? You know what I mean, bro? Nigga always want to say you old. If you 30, you know you old, right? Yeah, you fucked up. Nigga, like, you 50, nigga, you about to die. You got about 10 more days, nigga. <laughs> nigga said, Rick, how old you were? You said, you're 50, 50? Oh my God, Rick, did you prepare your funeral yet? 30 years old? Yeah, ask a motherfucker that's 19. <laughs> you be like, yo, you be like, yo, I'm 19, bro. I'm 30, damn, bro. Hey, these little niggas is crazy. <laughs> you 30, nigga, you ancient, so you know I'm a fucking antique. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you old as fuck. Yeah, you got about 18 more days, nigga, you gonna be dying. <laughs> motherfucker, young people is crazy. How you doing, beautiful? You okay? She said, hi. Now go on, one motherfucker. Go on, one. <laughs> one lady, I spoke to her at the comedy show. I said, how you doing, man? She looked beautiful. She said, thank you. I was like, damn, because they think everybody gonna fuck with, you know, with the person. What's up, Jojo? You all right? Long ass nails. Scratch my back. <laughs> Where the fuck is you going? Uh, you race ahead, motherfucker. <laughs> you like the chalk on the chalkboard. Now that's an old motherfucker for you. You see how you walk? I think like this. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga do that, you like, damn, boy, you got three days left. <laughs> you coming back? You sure? I don't know yet. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Did you pay for that? Excuse me. How much is that bid? How much is the bid? Get your three dollars. Weezy, this motherfucker drinking beer, he ain't paid for it. I'm telling you, fuck y'all. Fuck, he ain't got no tag. That nigga don't pay. You gotta get the three dollars now. You know how motherfuckers talking about to the mall? No, bitch, give it to me now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. That's that nigga. 
Uh, y'all ready for the next comedian? Yeah. yeah. If y'all ready for the next comedian, y'all say, break it on, break it on. Break it on, break it on. All right, coming to the stage, man. Give it up for him. Who the nigga at? <laughs> Went to the bathroom. <laughs> it's me. It's me, nigga. Oh, you want to go? It's me, nigga. Let's go. What's up? I'm like, give it for Mindy T. Y'all start clapping. Hey, stop. <laughs> Guys, a man fucking time. There's a lot of dick talking tonight, so we need some we need some vagina energy. Can I get ladies? Clap it up for yourselves. Clap it up for yourselves. We here. It's a lot of dicks in here. It's a lot of dicks. We gotta break up the dick energy. You know what I mean? Um, all right. So we're from Brooklyn. Yeah. All right. You didn't have to do the gunshots, nigga. We know there's guns in here. I didn't. And I look at I'm all looking all wholesome and shit. I thought it was a nice ass spot. I got this bitch like you know what. Should have came in with some Tims and this motherfucker ready to fight. Yikes. Um, okay. Well, I'm from. I did a 20 year bid in Long Island. Yeah. No, it wasn't Guantanamo Bay, nigga. It was like the county jail, nigga. My family came and shit. Um, anybody from Long? From Long? I don't. Yeah. Gee, come here, Asian bitch. I'm right, Filipino. You Filipino, not Chinese. See? Yeah. We know the difference in Long Island. It's fucking wild. It's wild. But but now I'm in Queens. Anybody from Queens? Nigga, say it loud, nigga. It's say it loud, nigga. I'm gonna say it one more time, cause this nigga just said it silently. That was rude. You see how loud this bitch was? I need you to give that energy. Anybody from Queens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh damn, nigga. I thought it was him. Now it's you. Y'all live together. Y'all roommates? <laughs> we all from New York, okay? We all had to have two jobs, and we did something strange for some change for that fucking rent. You know what I mean? A little change. Yeah. For this. You know what I'm talking about. He gets yeah. it. Um, yeah. That's why he got this fucking camera. It's not just for fucking comedy shows. This is some wacky shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Some wacky shit be going on in this motherfucker. No I'm going to pull that motherfucker down. <laughs> Cause I'm sure you probably work. These niggas seen the video. I, I know y'all niggas know. This nigga <laughs> freaky as fuck. He got some freaky shit in it. Anyway, okay. X video. I'm not X videos. All right, nigga. Well, uh, hold up. See, that's why I want my wholesome shit. <laughs> Fucking. But I noticed that we're, there's a lot of single people here. Clap it up. We single out here, right? Clap it up. We single. Yes. Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Did you tell her not to clap it? Are y'all together? He was like, bitch, don't clap it up, nigga. We together. Did you have to remind her? Thank you, sis. Cause he got some wack shit in his camera, sis. You don't want to be a part of it. I hate niggas. I hate niggas. I just got out of a five-year relationship. That's wild, right? A five like I might as well have gotten married. Um, I'm, right? I could have got married, but the nigga was broke, so I was like, what are we doing? What are we? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And it's crazy, cause I I met a nigga shortly after, and I was like, oh my god, it's a, it's a New York love story. It's a New York love story. I was pumping my gas, and I know. So I was, I just came from my family function, so I look, so the ass not popping, okay? Envision me with that ass, with the, with the lady, with the, with the bartender, with her ass, that's what my ass looks like, okay? It's right there, so I was pumping gas, booty out, bow, fat, okay, fat booty. I was out here, yeah, nigga, don't, don't, don't wiggle your legs, it's a fat booty, nigga. I'll beat your ass right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that, but I did, okay, all right, anyway. So I'm pumping gas, ass out, bow, this is my nigga right here, bow, okay? Um... <laughs> And that nigga did some shit, you know? It was like a love story. He was like, and hey, yo, ma, you beautiful. I was like, oh my God, me? Oh, and that nigga came over and we talking or whatever. And it worked out at first. I'm like, oh, this is great. The nigga came through. He gave me a little dick, little weed. <laughs> In that order, little dick, little weed. And there is a lot of niggas here, so I want to ask. I know you pondering, my nigga, you pondering. So I want to I wanna ask this question to my niggas real quick. Yeah, uh-oh, it's real, for real. Um, you know your dick is little, right? Um, why are you putting a magnum on it? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The niggas is all pondering, because you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Stop it. You know what I mean? It's okay. Like, we okay with you putting Trojan. Like, we don't want that baggy-ass shit falling on our pussies. Like, come on. You know what I mean? It's a tight pussy here. You know what I mean? I'm Haitian. We got that. Is anybody here Haitian? You know, my fancy skirt. It's there though. That shit was jiggling, almost broke the fucking mirror over here. I didn't wanna wanna break the fucking mirror. Don't laugh that hard, nigga. It's serious. It's ser I didn't almost break that mirror. The, nigga, it was it cracked right there, nigga. Come on, it's cracked over there. Anyway, the problem was, um, because I just moved out on my own, right? He gave me little dick, little weed. I was like, okay, you know. Then the second day he gave me little dick, little weed again, I was like, oh, all we doing is two days in a row. Okay. Then like by the fifth day, I'm like, not little dick, little weed again, nigga. Um, and 
you know what? It's after the seventh day, I found out that nigga was homeless. That was a oh. that was a homeless nigga hollering at me. I should have known. But my ass was asking that. You know what? It's okay. He was homeless. It was okay. Homeless. Homeless nigga. But I mean, that could explain why he had a little dick, little weed. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? She gets me. Okay. The worst part about it though is like I know y'all all smoking right now. We all, you know what I'm saying? Clap it up. We smokers. Everybody smoke weed here. Yes. Don't incriminate yourself too much. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I can't smoke outside because I need my I need my weed with risk. You know what I'm saying? I need to make it seem. You know what I'm saying? I like to sweat a little bit when I'm smoking. You know what I'm saying? Make it. It's not crap. No, it's not crap. It's not crap. But it's like I can't be just smoking out here. The other day I saw a nigga smoking right next to the police officer. You know? I can let that rock. So I called the police and I was like, I think a nigga is smoking crack rock right by the police. That is crack rock. Um, it's not real weed. It's not real weed. Uh, that nigga went to jail. He did. Um, I don't feel bad about it. Because he was white. You know what I'm saying? I don't like white people taking over our culture. It's weird. You know what I mean? And so now I'm living in Queens, right? And I'm like, you know what? Now I'm single. When I met my nigga, when I met my nigga, I was 25. Titties was up and supple. You know, life wasn't hitting me so hard. You know? Now my titties is still up and supple. Look at them shits, look at them shits. Them shits are supple. Hello, 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 hello. It's Victoria's Secret. Um, it's Victoria's Secret. Uh, but now, so before when I was 25, I was like on shit like Tinder and shit, you know? And now I'm 31, 30 fucking one. I know, I look young. I know, damn nigga, you didn't have to repeat what I just said. I know I look young. This is problem with, just what I'm saying, old niggas always want, but I do like a well-seasoned nigga, I do. I like a nigga with a little salt, a little pepper, a little adobo in the middle. Ooh, a little adobo, a little adobo, a little adobo. No, no, don't push in that. I ain't, I ain't say that well-seasoned. That nigga's very well-seasoned. I like you though, nigga, you cool. A little too well-seasoned for my black ass. Um, so I was just like, you know what? I'ma go on Facebook dating. Is anybody here on Facebook dating? <laughs> nigga, why you laughing? Why you laughing? <laughs> Are you on Facebook dating, sir? Talk to us. Are you on Facebook dating? No? I did a show recently, and I was like, yeah, I'm on Facebook dating. And the bitch was like, you're showing your age. And I was like, but bitch, you my friend. You my same age. What, the, what age is that? I don't. Um, so I guess nobody here is on Facebook dating? No? Hate hey, your sister, no? I'll go, okay, the hell no wasn't necessary. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, we were all in the same. I hate black people because the hell no, sir. It wasn't necessary. But I went on Facebook dating because I heard I got two success stories from that bitch. That, and that's right. Did you hear? I, I heard two motherfuckers. That nigga must have heard the same two niggas, huh? Must have been the same two niggas I knew. That's crazy. That's crazy. So I was on that shit, and I'm talking to two black niggas and two white niggas. I was like, yes, bitch, I'm an equal opportunist, right? The two black niggas, okay, one of the black niggas, I'm sorry, niggas, cover your ears real quick. Hold on, ladies. Get, get into this shit real quick. Hold on. Why was this nigga, he sent me a video, and he was lifting weights. I'm like, okay, in the gym, Q. You're not gonna believe this. Why was his penis lifting weights with him? I'm like, not that to... That was a baby in his penis just lifting that shit with him. It was just lifting. I'm like, well, what the fuck, right? That was weird. No, we don't want that. Then the last nigga, the second black nigga, right? He's like, I'm like, we're supposed to go on a date. And he was like, you know what? I can't go on a date because of my daughter. And at that point, I was supposed to be understanding, right? It's your daughter, right? Man, fuck that kid. You know what? I need a deadbeat right now, nigga. I do not want to talk to your ass. I don't want to talk to your ass. And also, this nigga back there is so high, he is in a different dimension. Are you? What is he smoking? What are we smoking in here? Is it crack? That nigga is in a different dimension. What is he smoking? I need to. You're smoking, you're smoking what? Grunch. Is that crack? Is it? We wanted to know. He wanted to. The nigga in the white wanted to know. I, I didn't say it, sir. Was it crack? What is it? There ain't no crack back here. No, oh, ain't no crack cocaine? Okay, right, sorry, just wanted to know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. You know what, I, you guys are making me sound extra white, because it's, it's, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of nigger energy, and I like it. And usually I'm the most niggerish nigger in the motherfucking crowd, so I'll be out here roughing up the white people, roughing them up. Um, I ain't gonna rough y'all up, don't worry about that. Don't worry about, don't worry about that. So I had the two white niggas left, right? I know, I know. To pinky and pinkier, actually. Because it's like pinky, and then pinky, it was like, the niggas was battling their pinkies, it was like, um, the first nigga that came, came in looking like his before picture, which was weird, because the nigga showed a picture that was like this little nigga over here, and they ended up looking like this nigga over here. I said, well, what the fuck? Did you eat the nigga you came for? I'm just confused. Did you eat that nigga? I don't know. I don't, I'm so, 
it's not, I like big niggas, but you gotta tell me, you know what I mean? I'm skinny, I need to know what I'm getting into, you know? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, damn nigga, I'm just, I, it's not like a, you know, he gets it, he gets it. <laughs> the second white nigga, he walked in, and this is weird, this is weird, because in, re- in his regular picture, he had regular hair, he had a full head of hair. There ain't no white people here, damn, no white people. I, I should've known that, no white people, okay. Oh, whatever, he had regular hair, right? He walked in, through the door, and I think he just caught an instant, uh, an instant case of alopecia. Is that, is that how it works, just alopecia? You're a barber, you would know. Do you, can you just walk through a door and now you have alopecia? Yeah, I knew it, cause I'm like, is it contagious? Because the nigga came through and he had no hair. I was like, oh shit, just should've let me know there was not gonna be no hair on your head, sir, okay. And the worst part about it is we're talking at the date, and I'm like, you know, it's Black History Month, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna make sure I get a nice filet mignon because, man, fuck these niggas, okay? Fuck these white people. Okay. So I'm talking to him, and I'm asking him, I'm like, well, what the fuck is your, what's your favorite color? You know, you gotta ask dumb shit, like, what's your favorite color and shit, right? So I asked him, what's his favorite color? And he's like, and there was like a backdrop of a mirror. And he's like, blue. Looks into the mirror, and he's like, meanwhile, I'm sitting right here. This nigga's like, Blue. Because me and my dad, we used to go working and we would always be on the, and this nigga we talking so long, I took my filet mignon to go and left that nigga right at this fucking door. Right there. Uh, so now I'm back on dating apps, but I just don't know which one's gonna work. But the problem is, is anybody an aunt and uncle? Aunts and uncles, clap it up. Yeah. Oh, we the best, aren't we? Cause guess what, when them niggas start acting up, guess what we do? We send them bitches home. Yeah. Go to your parents, we don't love you that much. Right? right? So my niece is 13. I don't know if you have a 13 year old, but them niggas, they be out here, okay? So I'm sitting here, I'm talking to her, I'm like, God damn, I'm going through it. She's like, what, Tati? Tati means on crayon. She's like, no, I'm about to show you, I got some niggas. I said, not niggas. <laughs> not niggas. And now I'm not gonna hold you. At first I'm like, no, ew, I would never, why are you showing? She was like, but they got uncles. I said, wait, hold up, nigga, wait. A bitch could get into the uncles. Um, it's awkward because I'm at that age that even the uncles are too young for me. She had me at a double date. She was like, oh my God, Tati, do me a favor. Bring me to the movies, okay? And I'm going to bring the uncle. I was like, okay, uncle. I'm cute. I get the uncle. And we go on a date. That nigga looked like he was my child. That, the, when I went to the movies, they was like, are you paying for all three? I said, nigga, well, fuck you. All right? It is grown women pussy. My name is Mezzy D, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Niggas is whispering shit. You don't know that dating service your ass is on. There's always got to be that fucking guy, right? There's always that one motherfucker. You be like, you can't take this nigga nowhere. But, um, yo, Mezzy. Missy, M- M- look, she, she's talking and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till they finish. Go ahead, it's all right. It's okay. Listen, the website you want is the wrong one. What's the wrong one? It's one called Show Me What You Got. You gotta get on that one. Yeah. It's called. Show me what you got? Yeah. It's a black website. They show body parts and shit. <laughs> No, it's not. That's not only fan. You show a titty, I show a titty. Oh, yeah, I show a nipple and shit. You show your pussy, I show my dick. Yeah, that's how I know. <laughs> you never know who the fuck you showing it to, you know what I mean? It's called safe. <laughs> you should try that one. Yeah. I'm on in. Show me what you got. Yeah. Come up with a fake name and shit. My name is Big Dick Bully on there. Look me up. Big dick bully. Will you like that? She said, <laughs> All right now, watch yourself, girl. <laughs> I told you, I'm fucking with a blog dog right now. And I can use some real shit. Long as you don't talk a lot. You know what I mean? If you like real low in conversation, we can fuck around. Yeah, I don't like them bitches. Like, I don't like them. You know, I want to talk back to a nigga and, and, and curse a nigga out. I don't like those type of girls. Just be quiet. Especially if I'm getting your head done on the 17th. Yeah. You, you here with somebody? Your friend? Oh, she's with you. Okay. How much you weigh? 
That's some fuck this shit to ask a girl, right? You're like, excuse me, sir? You don't know? 400? I like that. I fuck with no Tom, he was Jay, no, 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 no. No the fuck you don't. You see me over here pitching, nigga. You talking about, I like that, no the fuck you don't. It's gonna be 1199 in this motherfucker. You say, how the fuck you gonna do that, he was Jay, you my man. Yeah, but you was not looking that way until I went there. Now he like this, yeah, that's my bag of teeth. Hello, motherfucker. You know how women be funny with their age, you know, with their body weight and all that shit. But I said that earlier, that's why she kept looking at me. See, we connected early. So I'm just throwing my fucking rock out there. She said, 400, damn. How the fuck is that? You tall? You tall? You 6'1? I'm 6'4. Hey, Keith. What that's up, friend? Oh, damn. Huge J. Yo, Jay, you can take the one back there, but This is mine. There's another one back there, baby. <laughs> she like, that's my bitch. That's the big girls in this motherfucker. What happened, nigga? What happened? We get dick all year round. We don't just get winter dick. <laughs> That's my bitch, I know her boy. I ain't got to see her, that's my bitch. Yes, we used to go to the gym. <laughs> yeah, we don't fuck with that, fuck I lose the weight for. Niggas fuck with all this. <laughs> What's your name though? Huh? Chloe? My name is Ricky Chloe. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I think I'm fucking around in love. Huge J, you will be the best man, bro. <laughs> See, I'm about to propose to this motherfucker. <laughs> Tonight! Uh, we're gonna keep this thing going. We got like three more comics, all right? So if y'all ready for the next comedian here, y'all say, bring it on, bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on! Bring it on, bring it on! Start clapping right now for Malachi! Is whistling like that. <laughs> Calm down, it's a weed show. I know half y'all motherfuckers ain't even really reacting the right way. You know what motherfucker tell a joke? This is what y'all face is doing. Y'all like, what's a high ass motherfucker? What that, what that, uh, what's, 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 uh, Young Gun's name? 1300, 14,000, 18 platinum? What, what's 1300? You better watch what you're saying. I'm not, I'm gonna fuck, no, I'm gonna fuck with the name, cause this bald headed motherfucker right here gonna try to roast me on the back and shit like that. Nigga, take your fucking hood off. Nigga, you looking like Congress man taking and shit like that, nigga. Nigga, I'm gonna push all the way fucking back in this bitch. Nigga, how you 28 but look 55, nigga? <laughs> This nigga trying to come at me talking about this box juice fade ass nigga in the back. Nigga, I got the juice, nigga. I'm about to come at your ears, nigga. That's what really you talk about, nigga. Juice them bitches together, nigga. Nigga, squeeze that nigga head. Lemon juice come out that bitch. <laughs> nigga, lemon hands sponsor your ass, nigga. God damn. Everybody in this bitch high as hell, man. You step outside, it's like tasting Sprite out that motherfucker, yo. You close this door, everybody dying. This bitch. <laughs> Nigga, pass the point. Nigga, I can't breathe either. Shit. How y'all doing though tonight, man? How y'all doing, Brooklyn? Yeah. That was up. OG was good, man. He over here chilling. You the only OG over there chilling like that, nigga. I'm looking at you with the sideways bean, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> you know, you know I'm exactly talking to this guy. <laughs> you know, OG niggas, they don't say shit. They know they being talking about me. Like, nigga, he ain't talking about me though, nigga. I'm about this sideways. That nigga, you see this shit, nigga. Shit, leave like a motherfucker, you feel me? Shit, nigga, why you laughing so hard, nigga? We need to get at you in the front seat looking like uh fucking freeway with that damn hood on. Take that shit off, nigga. You! Damn, you in the hood blend together, nigga. Shit. Nah, I'm playing with you, man. How you doing, man? You like you ride niggas on the low, man. Shit. <laughs> if I got into a fight, I'll be on this nigga's side. Yo, who fighting? I'm with this nigga right here, right here. We fighting together. Like, I got you, man. Don't even worry about it, nigga. Shit. Shit, nigga. I, 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 I'm going to say, yo, that's my older brother right there, nigga. We from the old hundred block, nigga. I don't even know what block you from, but I'm going to just whip like, yeah, nigga. From the old hundred block, nigga, right there. How you doing, man? I know you like, yo, these, these hooligans right here, these hooligans. Like, you, you serve a good Sunday service, don't you? 
No, no, that's the wing too. You got the good candy too, huh? I got the peppermints in that bag. I feel you. She got the good peppermints, man. I fuck with this shit. I love this establishment, man. This establishment here look like they sell good Sunday church dinners. I'm telling you. Motherfucker got the best bootleg movies in this bitch. You feel me? Shit. That nigga had Barbershop 5, but that shit ain't really be made. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, let's get into these jokes real quick. Let's talk about some jokes real quick. I know y'all here talking about these fine sisters in here. It's a lot of fine ladies with some big ass titties, especially the bartender. And I'm like, I'm like two to three years sober from uh, strip clubs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna explain why I'm two to three sober from strip clubs. See, y'all look like y'all two a couple in the back. We gonna act like y'all two a couple in the back. Now, say y'all been together for five years, okay? Now, you my homeboy, and as my homeboy, I want you to know, bro. Three years ago, my lady left me, man. Let me stop lying. I cheated. She left me. I, she found out. All right. Now, with me going through a bunch of depression, man, I've been trying to go to strip clubs on Tuesday. How do you think that makes me feel? Good. Makes me, thank you. That's what I'm talking about. See? Fellas, not clapping up for Tuesday titties in this motherfucker. Because this woman's thing was, ladies, you know, clap that shit up. Okay? Now, my brother, I'm going to ask you three series of questions, man, because, you know, I feel I need to talk to you real quick. For the first question, don't look at your lady, look at me, all right? Is it wrong to go to a strip club? That's what I'm talking about. I fuck with that. I fuck with that shit. For the second question, don't look at your lady, look at me. Is it wrong to suck on a stripper's titties? <laughs> Didn't I tell you don't look at your fucking lady, nigga? Look at me, nigga. The fuck? Damn. Always, always, there's always one nigga in the crowd that want to look at this lady because he know he's going to get some pussy later on. He's like, look, man, if I agree with you, nigga, I ain't going to get no ass later on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't trying to sleep on the couch, nigga. She had me with the jerkin' last night, nigga. It's been two years, nigga. Two years. Now, this last question, man. This might put you on the couch. I don't know yet. This is the last question real quick. Is it wrong to drink the breast milk from a stripper's titties? Why the fuck y'all laughing like that? I did it because that shit was 2% breast milk, all right? Shawty was pregnant, too. Hey, I ain't never had uh, pregnant breast milk before, fellas. Shit, man. Let me tell you what happened, man. So, like I said, I've been depressed. So I walked up in there on that Tuesday, man. And Crystal had saw me. You know, it's always a Crystal late night and shit like that, man. I was like, <laughs> she was like, what's wrong? I said, my girl left me. You want a happy ending? I said, what the fuck is a happy ending? I'm perked up quick. She said, for five dollars, I'll let you suck on my titty. I said, you got two. Let me get two for ten, bitch. <laughs> hey. hey. Now, fellas, if you ain't never had breast milk before, especially from a stripper, let me film you how this shit tastes when it slid down my throat. No homo. Yeah, man, the way this shit slid down my throat tastes like OnlyFans cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, man, I told you no homo, bro. I already said it, man. I don't do a lot. God damn. How you doing tonight, man? Mm. <laughs> shit, I'm about to go back to strip clubs tonight. Shit. How much they tipping you? A hundred. A hundred? I got a dollar. Give me one nipple. <laughs> I'm liking this crowd. Y'all all high as fuck and don't know what to say. That's like, this nigga got the munchies. He went out to the store and got some. That's what I'm talking about. That's a true nigga right there. Yeah, your hands dirty as fuck, nigga. Yo, who got kids in here? Yeah. You got kids? You got kids? Cool, cool. That's what I'm talking about. Raise the youth. Fuck the youth. Fuck them kids. The reason why I say that, nigga, I'm a, I'm a teacher, nigga. Fuck them kids, okay? What y'all do to them kids at home reflects on to me. You understand? I have to deal with y'all badass kids at 8 o'clock in the fucking morning. Do you know how, it's, how it feels to deal with a kid that sound like DMX at 8 o'clock in the morning? I'm like, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, yo, dudes. Suck my dick. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nigga, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck? I be trying to teach these niggas how to read and shit like that. They still disrespectful as fuck. I'm like, yo, yo, man, turn to page seven. Like, yo, T, suck my dick, nigga. I'm gonna turn to page eight. <laughs> Motherfucker, that's the same damn page. You know what I'm saying? This nigga really got this GoPro camera right in the nigga's face and shit like that. <laughs> How many of y'all niggas got indicted on this camera yet? <laughs> I know you did the way you look. Yo, that nigga got indicted. That nigga definitely got indicted. I see you stole about five, eight bags outside. He got indicted too. Big bro, you know you making indicted. I got you, big dog. Don't worry about it. We know you ain't getting indicted, nigga. You look like a substitute teacher, nigga. Shit. <laughs> y'all enjoying yourself, though? Yeah. I like this. I like this. Y'all high as fuck and don't know what to do. I like it. I like it. Yeah. 
Good, good, good. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here before I get robbed by five niggas in the back. Um, Ricky, come on. I ain't got life to you. Alright, let me do it this shit, y'all. 1300, we good, right? Yeah. Alright, so don't swing on me. That's the nigga you want. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna fuck with old Marty. That's the leader, nigga. Fuck around with you. You never fuck with the leader. <laughs> old Marty told the nigga, yo, son, get that little nigga. So when you get outside, smack him. Don't shoot the little nigga. Just smack the little nigga. Let him know that we fucking from 1300, nigga. <laughs> You ain't gonna smack him? Yes, he okay, then I would've been his smack. I'm good. No, but what, what, what you wanna tell me? <laughs> oh, that's where you from? Oh, okay. I'm just letting you know when the shit pop off, y'all make sure y'all get him. Hi, people that just came in. How y'all doing? They like, don't fuck with me, nigga. Keep doing your little funny jokes. Mr. Comedian, man. You all right, brother? How you doing? The guy right there with the Yankee hat on, with all the mother patches and shit. Yeah, you fucking up the whole Yankee shit, bro. Yankee is one shit right here, NY. You got a boat right here, you got a motorcycle on the back, flowers on that side. What the fuck are they doing with the Yankee fittings, man? This nigga trying to whisper, I see you. He like to look bro, like I was saying, you want me to fuck that nigga up or what? <laughs> yo, yo, he was there. You want me to stomp him out? You want me to break his nose? Just beat him up around the block. Don't do it in front of the barbershop. All right, y'all gonna fuck us up. <laughs> Which I was running in the barbershop. Beat him up around the corner. But y'all having a good time? Y'all enjoying yourself? Yeah! For real. Well, let's give a big round of applause to the House of Scales, man. Start clapping that right now. Go for my boy, my nephew, Big Lou. Clap it up for Big Lou, you know what I mean? He the one that made all this shit possible. Big shout out to my bro, Wheezy. Clap for my boy, Wheezy. Come on, niggas. All right, give it, up for, give it up for all the barbers, my boy Jay. Give it up for my nephew right here. You know what I mean? Start clapping, niggas. God damn. Y'all that fucking high, thank you. Give it up for the bartender. Yeah. Y'all want to clap for the bartender? Go ahead, 1300, go ahead. All right, there's one leaving, that's two. So two out of 1300 is 12,098. <laughs> Anybody else? How you doing, sir? That nigga just came home. Look at him. Out of the cup. Out of the cup. <laughs> you, why would niggas come home? They don't just get right into society. They still think they're in jail. You know that shit? Nigga outside, nigga, we got jams. Why the fuck are you on the pole? Niggas doing pull-ups and shit. You see them niggas? I don't even speak to niggas like that. Because they ain't here yet. They, they ain't here yet. They ain't here yet. <laughs> Nigga, so I'm going to the yard, nigga. We got parks now. We don't go to the yard no more, nigga. We got parks and swimming pools and shit. How many people know somebody here came home from jail that's really like that? Yeah. The niggas ain't clapping, it's you, nigga. <laughs> nigga said, that nigga talking about me? Damn. I just made her mad. You see that shit? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I ain't fucking with her, but she got this nigga shook. He was like... <laughs> Alright, y'all ready for the next comment? Y'all said, bring it on, bring it on. 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 Start clapping right now, start clapping now for Richie Santana. Hey, what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing, Brooklyn? No, I need more energy to that. How y'all doing, Brooklyn? Yeah. I ain't know all you motherfuckers was over here. I thought this was it. Like, you hear me? Got down. Shit. I'm from Buffalo, New York. How y'all doing? Y'all know it's now the right, Benny. You know what I'm saying? West Side Gun. Yeah. When I got to Brooklyn today, I was just got the play. I was like, hey, yo! <laughs> boop, 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 boop. That's a little call in this shit. This one is see if anybody knows music. But um, yeah, y'all smoking weed, getting high. You, you recording me, baby? See, like I'm about to record this cute ass nigga. I see you. You like me? I see you with your little leggings on. Got your little leggings on. Look at she laughing too. How you doing? Hi. What you doing? Okay. How you doing, Miss Red? I see you too. Got a couple ladies in here. Any fupas in here? Fupas. Come on now. If you got a fupa, you know you got a fupa. 
Come on now, you know if you got a motherfucker food in this motherfucker. Okay, we got food number one. Okay, let's see if we got food number three. Food number three, food number number three. Food number four. Any of my ladies here got good pussy? Let me hear my good pussy ladies. Let me hear you say it. All right. Is it really true? I want to know. Because I'm curious. You got good pussy? You look high in the motherfucker. I want to be where you at, baby. You look like you're about to knock it easy. I knew I'm going to crack your motherfucking smile. You tell me all that hard shit, goddamn. Motherfucker, New York with me. Hard as a motherfucker, boy. Crest his hair, nigga. Where that wood at, nigga? I'm like, goddamn, bitch. Let me show you later. What the fuck? Shit, I see you laughing. Go ahead and crack that smile, man. Goddamn. Shit. Hey, listen. Everybody got that one homeboy, right? Um, you tell him a motherfucking story, but he just don't really say nothing. But he give you them motherfucking quotes. I got a homeboy. I'm like, man, yeah, man. I was at this bitch house, man. Goddamn, about to fuck the shit out here, like. Free nigga. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Quit playing, nigga. <laughs> like, nigga, damn, talk back. Nigga, I don't wanna hear no quotes. What the fuck wrong with you? Shit, man. So what y'all smoking on in here tonight? Some goddamn granddaddy. PCP. PCP, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, you sound like you a 70s, baby. All right. You come from the 70s, nigga. Uh, what you smoking on? You can't even remember. She fucked up. Okay. She gonna get drill tested tomorrow and shit on a Saturday. <laughs> Something only come with business club. Damn, man. Um, that's good though, man. That's a good. This is good, man. It's my first time in Brooklyn, New York. Um, this is different. I'm telling you, it's a culture shock for me. Um, see all types of people, man, and I love it. I love seeing my black people, man. You know what I'm saying? I love seeing my black people. How many of y'all got kids in here? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck them kids. I'm serious, man. My son, man, just said he. He called me that day, he was like, hey, dad, guess what? I got a girlfriend. I said, you got no goddamn girlfriend. You keep your head in the goddamn books, boy. He's like, I'm serious, dad, I got a girlfriend. I said, you still pee in the bed? He said, I know she do, too. I said, this nigga here. This nigga think he got all the motherfucking answers. So I took him to the fish market the other day, and he immediately started crying when we walked in. I like this smell. I said, you said you got a girlfriend, don't you? But he get used to it. Shit, some of these women PH battles be the fuck off sometime, goddamn. And y'all know y'all got some friends in here. Yeah. Bitch, you get your goddamn car with them goddamn heat seat warmers. <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck wrong with your fish stick pussy? What <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Bitch, you need to go to the clinic. You should be ashamed of your motherfucking self. God damn. But my daughter, man, um, she a gangster, man. Like That's like baby D in the flesh. Man, I went to Walmart one day, man. I'm, I swear to God, we in line. Getting a couple of things in line. This white lady, big white lady, big boned white lady. You know what I'm saying? Big boned it. She had a little slim fast in her goddamn cart. But um, she bumped me. So my, sister, my daughter was like, hey, ma'am, don't bump my daddy because there'll be problems in the Walmart. I said, hold on, baby. Hold on. Chill out. She was ready, man. My daughter's about that action. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you're just going to keep walking through. Okay. All right. All right. This is what niggas do at the repass, I see. All right. So, this is what they do. Niggas don't show up for the funeral. Niggas just show up for the repass. Nigga, who cooked the chicken got now? Shit. Niggas just do anything. She giving that nigga that juice for 69 cents. All right. <laughs> yes, man. Is it me? Is that um? Going bald is like a new phase, man. Like, you can tell them niggas used Duke back in the game. They do um, texturizing and shit. This one just went bald. Goddamn, shit is crazy, man. I ain't going bald yet. I'm 40, so I'm, I'm, I'm holding on. Holding on strong. Holding on strong. There you go again. All right. Damn. He just hit a lip, nigga. He got the money in his hand. See, look at him. That nigga got the money. Damn. Listen, man, I'm serious, man. I'm not a responsible adult. Um, how many here are responsible? Y'all responsible? Yeah. No, y'all not. Y'all ain't here smoking weed right now. But anyway, okay. Listen, I'm not a responsible adult. I'm serious. I just paid my rent today and it's the 31st. Let that sink in. I just paid my rent today. I get evicted every motherfucking month. My motherfucking landlord be like, listen, man, is you just gonna pay this motherfucker? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna pay it. Man, so how many here 30 or above? 30 or above? Yeah. 
Y'all are the new adults and some of y'all are not qualified. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know why I say some of y'all not qualified? Because listen, I know I'm not qualified because my motherfucking son, true story, happened in the motherfucking mall one day. Went to go buy a shirt. Went to go buy a shirt. Hold on, y'all having a side talk and it seemed like y'all talking about bricks and cocaine. Okay, ghosts and Canaan. Ghosts and Canaan. Ghosts and Canaan. Fair east side by my side. Let me stop playing that. <laughs> that ain't gonna beat my ass, goddamn. <laughs> Let me say, get him. Let me say, get him. See, y'all wanna fight? I don't wanna fight, man. Shit. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, I was in the store in the mall. Back to my story. <laughs> is he not? He's singing. Is he fair? He gonna be the kind like this? Fair east side. That nigga stupid, what? Well, listen, let me get back to this one quick story real quick. I'm in the store. This is how I tell you that I'm unqualified as a parent. So it was a, it was a shirt in there for $12.99. And here goes my son. I'm like, damn, I really want this shirt. Dog. You think this shirt nice? He's like, yeah, dad, get it. I said, it's too much. It's expensive. It's $12. He was like, dad, just change the tag. That's what me and my mommy do. Nigga, who, what? Wait a minute. Nigga changing the tags? He put Clarence motherfucking stickers on there to get it for one ninety nine. That's yeah, that's why it lets me know I ain't qualified as a motherfucking parent. I'm serious, man. I'm toxic. Anybody here toxic? Uh, yeah, I think toxic, toxic. Any ladies in here toxic? Y'all lying like a motherfucker. Y'all ain't already got hand. Oh, she thank you, baby. She knows she toxic. That means that pussy good. Amen. <laughs> Give it up for the sister right there in the corner. With a good toxic pussy. With a poop of toxic pussy. Cheers to toxic. Yeah, cheers to toxic. Give it up, cheers for toxic, y'all. Come on, cheers for toxic, y'all. Cheers for toxic. Cheers for toxic, man. Cheers for toxic. Hey, listen, before I get off stage, man, I just want to let my city know that I came here to Brooklyn, New York. I want to do a quick video with y'all. If y'all could just say, what's up, Buffalo? We in Brooklyn tonight. That's all I want y'all to say. And I really appreciate y'all. Hold on one second. Okay, listen. We gonna say what's up, Buffalo? We in Brooklyn tonight, okay? Or I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, okay? Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. What's up, Buffalo? This your boy Richie Santana, man. I'm in motherfucking Brooklyn, New York, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Seven one six in the motherfucking building. Yeah, give them one more time, one more time for Richie Santana, y'all. That damn clap, niggas. Give <laughs> that clap one time, nigga. What the fuck? The nigga from Buffalo. I ain't gonna never see him again. <laughs> you gonna tell everybody, Buffalo, nigga, I blew up last night in Brooklyn. <laughs> I blew up. Uh, y'all enjoyed yourself, man? Y'all having fun? Y'all having fun? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, one person clap, my Chinese sister, thank you, baby. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And the other nigga clap, thank you too, brother. Appreciate it. All right, so we're going to call the man of the night that's going to close the show out. So if y'all ready for him, let me hear y'all say, bring it on, bring it on. 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 Start clapping right now for 1,300 views. Give me some of this seat real quick for a second. Pause. Where my son from Mount Buffalo at? Where he at? Where he at? Bring him in. Bring him in, Ricky. Grab that nigga by his collar. I knew he was from Buffalo. I seen him fucking boots in them jeans. We ain't to throw them shits in the garbage. I, when I see the nigga, I said, where this nigga from? When I seen you with that outfit on, nigga, I knew you wasn't from Brooklyn. Them boots ain't shit, nigga. Fuck out of here. Nigga trying to come at me, fair you shy. Stop that. You know who the fuck you talking to, nigga? <laughs> you too, Desi. You know I like you too, Desi. You little cute ass. Try to come at the big niggas. i fuck you out. You cooking me some fried cat. You know what I mean? A little Haitian man, man. You could give me some fried cat. You know what? Give me some of that rice with that too. That old black rice on you cooking this shit. 
Yeah. <laughs> What's the deal? Like, anybody feeling good though? Yeah. I'm high as a cow. I don't smoke weed no more. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm back there as a mink cool. God damn. Making some of these smoking all this gumbo and all that shit. Somebody lying. <laughs> Somebody lying. Come on, baby. Niggas ain't spending eighty dollars on AIDS every day, man. I know niggas' pockets. Man. I see how niggas got here. There's a lot of metro cars in here. Somebody lying. I see how niggas got here. Stop it. <laughs> oh shit. I was in the back, scared in the room. I ain't no front. I don't know why. They, I don't know why Ricky put me last. I was over here scared in the room and all that. I seen everybody. So if I throw a shot at you, take it, nigga. Fuck it. <laughs> I seen beautiful with the big butt. I watched her like four or five times bring that. I was like, I hope she go back to the bathroom. <laughs> I done seen that. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, let her go to the. Let her do. <laughs> let her do. Yeah. And baby, if you see this lady, it's just comedy. <laughs> My wife gonna see her. Oh, you looking at the big butt, bitch, huh? <laughs> Oh, you seen the big pipe bitch? Chill, baby, I do comedy now. And I was high. <laughs> you know, I don't even smoke no more. I was high. Chill. Get into a few of my jokes, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I used to work in a hospice, B. You know, you know what a hospice is? No. You know what a hospice is? Hospice, hospice is like when shit niggas, you know, the, a couple of y'all fucking aunts and uncles in there. Y'all niggas don't go visit them. Piece of shit ass niggas. Yeah. You know, the hospice is, niggas is on their way out. Sick people, you know, elderly, old niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my lunch break one day. I'm eating a sandwich. Turkey, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes. I like it, you smell me? Chips on the side. You smell me? That's how I get busy. Nigga come up to me and go, hey, uh, Jay, uh, don't you think a guy your size should be worried about your soda you take? Say, nigga, you got AIDS. You worried about a sandwich, nigga? That's the fuck you worried about, nigga? Hey, put your fucking mask on, nigga. It wasn't even COVID yet. Nigga said it ain't even COVID yet. That shit didn't even come up. Put your fucking mask on, nigga. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yeah, look, when you shout out the block. That nigga Ricky, that nigga Ricky love 1300. You gotta bring it to the block, son. Ricky gotta come to the block and just be on the block with us right there. Yeah, definitely. I see the little two little cuties right here. How y'all feeling, y'all? Right? Y'all good? Stop with the mean face. You wanna do something? Y'all know what I do? I get busy. Stop! Stop! I can follow you right now with me. I'm feeling. I'm drunk too. Pull a tool out real quick. They ain't search me. I did comedy. I'm the one that you need. You ain't gonna know what I got in my pocket. Back that big boy out on you. Take that rubber off. Let me get that. Old school Empire shit. Empire White. Empire Roller Ring shit. Let me get that coat. Uh, you know how I know I'm getting older? Because I hate these pins. <laughs> these shits? The new no model shit? I hate them shits, man. They done got me with the tight jeans. I went from the baggy joints. I was like, I'm going to wear the regular cut shit. Now I'm going to wear my side. I see the new niggas with them shits. I said, nah. <laughs> nah. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. <laughs> Nigga got me with the Quavo joints. Nah. We ain't doing that. <laughs> Not at all, RuPaul. We ain't out here with that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Word, I'm really high though. No funny shit. No fun. Weez, I'm high. Weez, you heard me? I am high. God damn. Shit, throat drives a motherfucker. God damn, you got a water? You got a water, baby, god damn. Big baby in the back, I seen you. Yeah, fuck that nigga Ricky. He ain't even got no car, he take the train. Okay? <laughs> I got the big boy outside. Yo, yeah. <laughs> big boy outside. You can sit inside. Go make some big sandwiches. Two in the back, two in the back. You and me. Fuck with me. And we gonna eat good. <laughs> you know we gonna eat. Baby, once again, he's just jealous. <laughs> and you see this lady. I got to show her the video. She ain't here. She's like, let me see the video. What you do? Uh, I'm like, this nigga Ricky. He got me high and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking shit. Yeah, talk that <laughs> shit, nigga. <laughs> Another job I used to have. 
I used to work at Interfaith Hospital. No funny shit. No funny shit. You know that big gray part on the top of Interfaith? That's where the um, psych ward I used to work up there. The crazy niggas look. Bro, no funny shit. You ain't never lived life till you see the nigga digging his ass scoop out shit. <laughs> I'm scared to get with all my white on. I dare that nigga throw some shit at me. That's why I lose my tongue for this motherfucker. That's why they call me an HR tomorrow. That's why I my mom. I bet you I go. I'm losing my tongue, nigga. Throw some shit at me, nigga. I bet you. And low key, I kept a raise in a little small pop. A little small pop and shit. I kept a raise. They gonna read about me. I'm going to Channel 12, nigga. Finally. Never. Nigga throw some shit on me. <laughs> Yo! Ah! Yo, you know what's so funny? I be thinking some shit. What's the deal? Huh? How I, I met you? <laughs> yeah, this thing is crazy. Like, you want me going through my. I'm gonna tell you how I met this shit. This thing used to shoot up parks and shit for no reason. You know, St. John's Park over there? That's my block. This thing used to shoot up parks for no reason. No funny shit, true story. I'm walking in the park one day, and the nigga said, Yo, big chick, hold on, don't go in here. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> this nigga go, la, 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 la. <laughs> Said, my nigga, this guy here. <laughs> God, that's how I met my man Black, that's what you said. <laughs> yo! Oh, God! Oh, man. There's some funny shit, though. You know what's so crazy? I think about this some shit, too. When I'm fucking, I say some dumb shit. You ever do that? Nigga, real nigga, real nigga shit. You don't say some stupid shit. You ever catch yourself? Yeah. You be into it? Tearing the ass up, yeah. She getting crazy in it. Say some dumb shit. I said some, this is some stupid shit I said one day. I'm beating, I said, oh, that's cream on the day? Oh, I gotta bring some coffee and donuts for the pussy. Oh. What the fuck was that? What was that? I thought about that shit later. I said, what the fuck was that? Next time for the pussy. Oh my god. That's a yo. <laughs> yo. I'm trying to lose weight, kid. Mother. I'm trying to lose weight, you hear me? I'm really trying to lose weight. Don't finish it. Me too. I'm true. Finish it. You true, man? Hold on, let me get in that camera, too. Let me look right. Get me right. Right. Yeah. yeah, like that there, yeah. I'm trying to lose weight, you hear me? No funny shit. I'm not eating this shit. You know, you look on your laptop and shit, eating this shit. Motherfucking pictures and videos of big points. I'm a, she's still not a player, still trying to hate her. I think that's God sending me a sign and shit. Better get your shit together, nigga. Better get your shit. <laughs> Ain't no fat niggas in heaven, nigga. <laughs> Better get your shit together. Real shit. Ain't no fat niggas in heaven. You get to the pearly gate, they say you can slide through some motherfuckers, you can come in. <laughs> Check your fat ass dance. Yeah. And the skinny nigga cracking jokes on you on the side. Look, you don't even get in there, look. You don't even get in there. <laughs> Check your fat ass dance in, nigga. It's a buffet in hell, nigga. I used to hate skinny niggas, no fucking shit. When I was younger, I used to hate on skinny niggas. Pop on a skinny nigga for no reason. Fuck you looking at. How much you weigh? What? Little nigga. Now we in the principal office. Why'd you hear? The nigga weigh a buck on six. He was making fun of me. <laughs> Yeah, that's not nice at all. Not nice. I'm a good guy now. There's some 1300 niggas you gotta watch out for. Uh, niggas is fine. Oh, good guys. Good guys. Oh, shit. I'm high. Like a motherfucker. God damn. Yo, Richie, you been going to AC in this movie? Man, this shit crazy. We in a barbershop. My mother, I told my mother I was doing comedy at the barbershop. She said, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Doctor, 
or some shit like that. Some shit they can brag about. Then you that nigga. If you got a nice car, you got a nice house, she can talk to her friend. Oh, he just bought a Benz. They got a nice house in Long Island. I live in East New York, nigga. I drive a decent car, but that ain't shit. My mom's ain't on this shit. She's like, nigga, you got a GD, nigga. Now you're doing comedy. You should apply for the MCA job like I told you, stupid ass. Now I look at you. You're doing comedy in a barbershop. <laughs> Yo! Oh, God! Where the father's at, man? Yeah. Father's at? Where the father's at? Father's at? I see my son. I'm say, left. My man, Shorty, do I? He broke out? My man, yo, he, yo, shout out to all the comedians, first of all. Let's get that out the way. All the comedians that came before me. Y'all got to visit me now. That's a fact. Real shit. Shout out to the squad. This nigga was like old Puerto Rican nigga. God damn. I ain't even know it was him no time. I'm looking at the old whistle nigga. That shit was annoying me, little kid. Like, yo, old whistle nigga. For real. I need to know who this nigga is. I got to meet this nigga. It's this nigga the whole time. And I know you got incense, nigga. It's a good ordinance. Oh, DVD on Ocean Avenue looking ass nigga. <laughs> Yo, shout out to the squad, man. Oh, my God. Yo. That is fucking hilarious, nigga. DVD cigarettes? Yeah, DVD cigarettes, Lucy's, all that shit. A lot of fucking gentrification going on out here too. I'm tired of that shit. Seeing a white bitch right here the other day. It's three in the morning, bitch online. Excuse me, um, what is a Lucy? <laughs> you gotta explain to the white bitch what a Lucy is. Well, it's a um, 50 cent cigarette you get out the, there's a loose cigarette you get from the Oculus for 50 cent. Oh, that's nice. Did they have vegan Lucy? Bitch, get out the line. <laughs> get the fuck out the line, white bitch. That's why I don't fuck with y'all. Y'all ask too many fucking questions. Get the fuck out the line. Yo, I let me get two losers. <laughs> oh, damn. Stupid white bitch. I fuck with white bitches though. Yo, white bitches come to the hood. And they don't know. <laughs> white bitches come to the hood, you use them. White bitches come, they come. Oh, I love the hood. Oh, it's nice out. Oh my god. Bitch, shut up, white bitch. Hold this gun. Put this crack in your ass. When the police come up, you don't know me, white bitch. That's it. Your father a lawyer, he gonna get you out. <laughs> he gonna get you right. Dang. Oh my god. Oh shit, I'm about to trip over the foot. Yo, Ricky, we need the, the call this thing. Yo, we gonna work on that though. I'm gonna get a couple dollars. I'm <laughs> gonna get a couple dollars coming through here. I'm gonna get that call this joint. <laughs> Warren! It is looking crazy back there. I ain't gonna lie to you. I wanna run through this shit, little chick. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> I wanna run through that shit, but I can't. Nigga, you telling me my jokes, nigga? I tell you who to shoot, nigga? Yeah. Watch my phone, baby. Hey, you, I like it. <laughs> this nigga telling me my jokes, nigga. I tell you who to shoot, nigga. God damn. I did it, but God damn. I love you too. Nigga, tell you how to work at your job. Flip the burgers. Flip them quick. Put the fries down low. You ain't laugh yet, nigga. If you don't laugh, nigga, I'm gonna show you my name, nigga. Or my kids, nigga. You won't laugh today, nigga. Short thing that man shit. You won't laugh, nigga. I feel my last nigga. I don't get him, we gon' take him. I don't like that shit. Niggas come in the comedy club, be dead serious. Bitch, laugh. What the fuck you here for? Pay $20 to be in the corner. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the fat nigga was kinda funny, but I ain't really like him though, like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm really from Brooklyn, my nigga. What the boy girls high school, boy? All right. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. Yo, Ricky, how much time I gotta be? You ain't paying me that much, my nigga. <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna be working. Oh god. I thought <laughs> Yo, this nigga black over here telling me to get on people. That ain't what I do, so I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. I ain't gonna get on Shorty. I don't really know her like that. And she look kinda mad. And we got to fight after this shit. And my right hand is wicked. <laughs> my right hand is wicked. 
Yeah, yeah, give me a ride. Come on, come on. I like, you know, I like pictures, I ain't gonna lie. Back in the day, we ain't take pictures and shit. I ain't got no pictures of my teenage years. So give me a ride, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I ain't gonna front. I was looking at you too, a little easy. I, was, I said, you're so Filipino. I, I thought you were shining on your suit. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Made me a little horny. I wanted some fried rice when I see you. <laughs> I said, I know this bitch cooks some good chicken on even fry right I know she can. She got the wok and all that. She said, no, 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 we don't use that type of oil. We use peanut oil, okay? Show me, show me the way. Oh, God. No funny shit, my throat drives a bitch. Y'all niggas really be smoking a lot of fucking weed for nothing. What y'all niggas do with y'all lives? For real, for real. I know funny shit, I used to smoke a lot of weed too, though. I just quit weed, no funny shit. I literally just stopped stop smoking weed. I've been sober, what, seven months now? So you yeah, clap for that. Clap for that. I know, I know a bitch was sucking dick for weed. I said, damn, bitch. <laughs> but you ain't that serious. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave you. I got a few more jokes. This is some shit I thought about, right? Who was the nigga that was fucking Harriet Tubman? You ever thought of that shit? Some wild shit I thought of. Slave who was the nigga? Who was the nigga fucking Harriet Tubman? Slave no, no. She had to have a boyfriend. Everybody got a young man. Yeah, but imagine this though. First. Every man who got a woman, we like to brag on our joint. That's a fact. Am I lying, fella? Am I niggas? Am I lying? If you got a nice little joint, it's my little piece right here. You feel me? She got a nice little job. She a nurse and all that. We give a couple dollars. We got a condo uptown. You know, you brag on your bitch. Who was the nigga bragging about fucking Harriet Tubman? Standing <laughs> in the field like this, smoking. He's like, yeah, hold on, hold on, baby. <laughs> Told his baby, you know, I'm fucking Harriet, right? <laughs> yeah. His man ain't even gonna believe him. What Harriet, nigga? <laughs> Fuck out of here, boy. You fucking, nigga. Tell me, my nigga. <laughs> Trying to tell you, my nigga, I can get you on a list. You trying to get free away? <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. House nigga, you want to be here forever, you bum ass nigga. You know your man, I don't want a job. You trying to get him a job, bum ass nigga. You don't want to do nothing with your life. I'm trying to get you free, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, this man went over to the other slaves. Nigga, lying, talking about you fucking Harry and Tubby. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> I don't believe y'all my ending joke. Y'all ready to go to the ending joke? How deep is midget pussy? <laughs> you ain't never thought of that? Yeah. How deep is midget pussy? You with the butt, motherfucker. You. Yeah. You yeah. better laugh. You ain't laughing for nothing either. Still, my motherfucking laughs, nigga. How deep is midget pussy? The bitch this tall. You know what I mean? 38, I think it's like, like sticking your dick in one of them little fruit cups. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my name is Hugh J Comedy. Follow me on Instagram. I ain't got Facebook. That's for old niggas. Yeah. 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 I ain't fuck with him, that's the nigga that was shooting in the park. <laughs> he don't look like he changed a bit. <laughs> look at him, yeah nigga, let's shut the shit down, look at him. Yeah. Alright, hey, I'm Jay. No. 1300. Uh, if it was one of y'all, I'd fuck you up. <laughs> it's 1300. Yo, but um, yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's a thousand of y'all. I ain't fucking with you, but you shoot niggas in parks. I don't want no smoke, nigga. <laughs> um, in June, um, I'm shooting my one hour comedy special. Yeah, 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 UBC yeah. TV, all that old fly shit, and I got my boy Huge J will be on the show. Yeah. Gotta start clapping for that. So Jay, so we bring 1,300 motherfuckers, bring 14, nigga. We gonna pack this bitch out. Um, he gotta be in that too? Okay, we're well, here in it too, motherfucker. Bring 15 on the y'all, motherfucker. You don't believe that nigga with the gun home. All right? Um, 
We appreciate y'all coming out tonight. We really, really do appreciate y'all. And the barber shop, we shoot the comedy shows here. Ain't nobody doing this shit. You know what I mean? For those that's coming up and want to do this comedy shit, I met Big J, man. Before I even met him, uh, my man uh, uh, Fats was talking to him about me, right? And it's crazy. We was at a show uh, at the producers club. And he was like, yo, you Ricky Burino? That shit was just so genuine, you know what I mean? And the same night I saw this little motherfucker right here perform too. And I just told them niggas, yo, y'all funny, like, funny, funny motherfuckers. So I said, listen, I roll, them niggas rolling with me, you know what I mean? Y'all can clap for that too. Yeah. All right, so in June, uh, the last week in June, I'm waiting for the date. And we're gonna shoot this DVD and Big J gonna be on me huge. I keep calling him Big J because he fat, so I keep saying big. We pass big. I it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said I'm huge, J nigga. Don't get it twisted. But um he's gonna be on the show. My sister um Fay Fay's gonna be on the show. And I'm gonna throw this little motherfucker on the show too. Cause yeah, you know, so um, y'all keep supporting what we doing, man. So if you know some funny motherfuckers that wanna come up here and do their shit, we here every second Friday and every fourth Friday of the month. Alright, so keep supporting black shit. If you wanna get your hair cut, you get your shit cut yeah, right now. Jay. We cut here. You know what I mean? So we here all the motherfucking time. You wanna hear cut, bro? You said, nah, nah, stop fucking with the mother. Hey, you gotta come here. You gotta come here. We can save your shit. <laughs> Molly, can you hook him up real quick? <laughs> but listen, man, again, thank y'all for coming out. That concludes the show. I'm Ricky Moreno. Follow me on Instagram, Ricky Moreno1569. Follow the House of Skills on Instagram. And um, everybody get home safe. Play some music.